listeners, this is Molly. This very special executive produced extra bonus episode or extra sode is brought to you by Ryan Letzer, who is amazing. And we are so appreciative. This next podcast would absolutely not exist without Ryan. If you know him, thank him. And even if you don't, get ready to find out what movie it is. Totes Recall. Welcome to Totes Recall, the podcast where we talk about a movie we can't remember very well. Then we pause the recording, watch the movie while eating two pizzas and two salads. Thank you, patrons. And then we come out and record a second half of the podcast. We talk about the same movie a second time with a new, fresh understanding of the movie in the current day and age. My name is Dan. <laughs> this is Molly. I'm also Dan. And I'm Beth. And our movie, this very special... Special oh. executively produced oh. bonus extra sode oh. episode is <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think there. I think that's it. There's no <laughs> subtitle. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Is that the teenage? Oh, this is going to be a thing for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Beth's Beyond Betrothed asked me what movie you were watching, and I said Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja <laughs> yeah. Turtle. Me- <laughs> I just couldn't. The, the order of words was very difficult. Right. Yeah. And the, the TMNT. Got that 90s mom TMNT. energy. Yes. Yeah, very much. Kids, so. are you watching that Mutant Teenage ninja, Turtle mi- movie? Ninja, <laughs> ninja Teenage Mutant? Uh, the, muted, the Mutated Ninja uh, Teens? Uh, now, are they just, like, what's what's the thing? Excuse me? Well, I'm just still being a mom. Oh. oh. What's the thing? Oh, they're named after, did you know that they're named <laughs> after famous <laughs> artists? Wow. No, oh. really, they are. Oh, you knew that. Michelangelo. Okay. Wow, his David's my favorite. <laughs> Best piece, am I right? Best piece. Oh. Check out our Goonies episode. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, a movie that came out in... Oh, I'm going to say... 1991. 91. Oh, I was going to say 91. That's okay. Fine. I'll say 191. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might be able. You hear 191 AD. No, I'll say 92. Oh, uh, maybe I'll go slightly bigger and say 1990. Ooh. Okay. So I'm bigger? trying to work back. Boulder. What? Boulder? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. Two people are already choosing one. Mathematically so it's smaller. smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, geez. So I went to debate camp. No big deal. Oh, sorry. Are you saying 1990? I am working my way to a number oh, okay. Okay. by having an actual human memory, if that's okay. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of the <laughs> premise of the podcast? Sorry, yet? I have a mutant ninja memory. Wow. <laughs> turtle ninja. Turtle uh, ninja. <laughs> memory turtle. Teenage. <laughs> Go ahead, memory Mark. turtle. You're in debate I club or whatever. went to debate camp. camp. In California. Oh, nice. no was big there? deal. Was I surfing? You might have been. It I've was never surfed. Okay. Well, I don't know. Boom. You, I we, escaped. You got caught in the spider's <laughs> web. <laughs> the mutant spider ninja yeah. turtle. The point mutant is, I was spider. probably like a sophomore, which would have been 1990-ish. Okay. Actually, yeah, that would have been the summer of 1990. And... Oh, P.S. Sharif, I'm sorry. You were the right person to have had a crush on. I really missed that boat. Okay. Wow. But the wow. thing about this is there was a From pizza Rock restaurant we would go to. No. Oh. And uh, I got a crush on like the, the like, I don't know, like the counselor guy. Oh, sure. Oh, instead wow. of the like Prime my target. age super cute guy. Mm. Mm. And just wrong. But I think in hindsight, honestly, I think I was just intimidated by the whole dating thing. So I would sort of pick people who there was no chance with. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So that I would oh, feel secure. I definitely secure. did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In hindsight, man, I really see my error, but that doesn't matter. The point is. There was a pizza restaurant, and they had in it a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle four-player oh, video yeah. arcade Hell game. Yes. Arcade nice. Rules. Yes, it does. And I loved playing it. I did not actually fight. I just mostly did flips. Yeah. It was very fun, was very fun satisfying. Flips, yeah. And, and kick, do the jump I kick. don't think at the time there was a movie, but maybe there was. I'm going to say 1990. Great. All right. 
Well, I don't. Jaquette's bet that game and the movie are not connected, other Correct. than they are both Teenage Mutant Ninja yeah, Turtle the, franchises. The arcade yeah. is based more on the cartoon. Yes. Oh, yeah. is this movie not based on the cartoon? I mean, is it they, based on? Is there a comic strip? There's oh. comic is the original. I'll cede the floor to our resident Dorcas Maximus. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let me just crack open my human memory. <laughs> the year was 1980 something. Okay. Superhero comics were getting nitty gritty, dark and something. Giddy. Giddy. <laughs> uh, and everybody. Two chotes have to recall. I think I mentioned this on another episode. Sometimes people had too many pouches and giant guns, oh, yeah. and mm. everyone was brooding all the time. Two men got together and said, LOL, what if we made fun of this and made like the most dark and brooding comic ever? But it is about like the all this, like they just took, like, what's the stupidest version of all this like comic book shit that we can do? It's like, okay. So they're like, they're like these vigilante ninjas, but they are also just children turtles. But we're going to draw it and write it as seriously as we possibly can. Oh, so it was intended okay. originally as satire. Yeah. Mm. And it was very violent. Uh, and then, you know, like most men in the 80s, they loved money. <laughs> and yeah, Gordon Gecko. Somebody, I don't know if it was the toys first. It might have been like a Transformers thing where they're like, we want to make toys, and now we're going to make a cartoon to sell the toys. But in yep. some way, they licensed it to whoever, Hasbro, Hasbro or probably. whatever. Uh, and the cartoon was a big old hit yeah, and I very watched... much not dark and brooding at mm-hmm. all. I watched a shit out of that cartoon. Me too. I, I think I watched toys, that when I was crazy. a kid. Oh, I had the toys. I had so many of those toys. Yep. Yeah, goddamn. Uh, and yeah, and I feel like one of the two guys was like way more into, I guess a short version is I think one of the two guys had more like artistic integrity about his like dumb joke comic book than the other <laughs> one did. Cause I feel like one of them was like way more like, yeah, this is fine. The other one was like, oh, f- fuck, we fucking sold out. <laughs> People uh, were self-conscious about selling out in the 90s. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, they probably didn't get nearly as much money as they were promised. Oh, yeah. that is sad. Yeah. Yeah. Did that answer <laughs> your question, Molly? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. So the movie is like, I feel like the movie is almost like a weird in-between, right? Where it's post the cartoon, so it's pretty goofy. Like It's clearly aimed at children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it is a little, yeah. It's but definitely it's definitely darker, darker than, than the cartoon. cartoon. Yeah. And it, it's... um. Live action? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Sort of. I mean, Well, yes. they've got yeah. wild... Muppet yeah. costumes on. Okay. Bob Costas. Puppets costumes. What? I forgot our own character. Bob Costas. <laughs> <laughs> Hank uh, Crestorn. That's Hank it. Hank Crestorn. Wow. wow. Hello, everyone. This is Bob Costas, and I... Bob Costumes. Bob Costas. <laughs> oh! I got, love it. I've got Pig Guy. His side gig. Yeah. His side gig was a ride... Before he became... America's sports commentator. He was yeah. a rival to Hank Crestor and Bob wow. Costumes. I love it. Bob Costumes. That's amazing. Okay. Yes. There are four turtles. Oh, okay. Yes. Wait, uh, Wait, have how, we all seen this movie? That's no. I don't know if I've seen it. All right. I feel like this is a thing that I would have seen. Yeah, I do too. Um, because I do remember watching the cartoon. I, I know enough about it that I like had to have seen something right. having to do with them. Oh, yeah. Except for the order. Teenage. Turtles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop. Should we put Absolutely. 60 seconds on the Union Strong clock? Absolutely. And make should. Beth with possible support from Molly. Great. Um, make, allow them to like, I'm not even <laughs> invite <sure>. them to <laughs> recount the movie. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right. You can participate in whatever level you feel comfortable okay. with. Okay. I'm going to see if I can even remember their names. Okay, great. Okay. okay. And go. There are four turtles. They are teenagers. Uh, Leonardo. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Donatello. Oh, oh, and Raphael. Yeah. Yes. They each have different colored eye coverings. (laughs) Oh, like headbands. Yeah. Like karate headbands and like wristbands. Yes, I think they cover their eyes. They're like, not to oh, cover them. Oh, like they're masks. Like, they're like masks. Like superheroes. Anyway, they're teenagers. They Red, are turtles. Yellow, blue and green. I think there's What'd you do, a purple seconds. and green. Okay. <laughs> they, there's like radioactive sewage oh, or something. Oh, that's what makes them. That makes them and there's rats. There's a, yeah, there's a rat. Scrapper. Who's like, <laughs> he's a scrapper. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shredder? Shredder, yes. But then there's, who's the villain? It's like there's Sensei and there's a bad guy. Yeah, there's a villain who's metal. (laughs) (laughs) Metal uh, claws or something. (laughs) Oh, claws, sure. Anyway, they each have a different weapon. Ten seconds. Gargamel. Oh, one of them is, uh, yeah, they've got different weapons. And one of them really enjoys pizza, and one of them is very serious. Well, they do, but there's one who's like. Time, 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 time. Hey, did you get all that? Uh, I, I catch it up. Did it you was, at uh, least write down Scrapper? I wrote Rat, rat Scrapper. <laughs> Thank you. I, I certainly hope Ryan feels like he got his executive producer's money worth. Yeah, podcast over. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. We've successfully recalled the movie. There's a bad guy, probably, that is doing something. Sure. Oh, sure. But uh, what do we think he's doing? Oh, Ooh, maybe. That is um, a great question. I would okay. love for you guys to guess what I'm the bad guy's doing. I'm going to assume something to do with consumerism mm. or capitalism mm-hmm. in some way. Maybe somebody is going to clean up the sewers mm. oh. and they're going to lose their <laughs> Like they dojo. work for the city? Or yeah, no, <laughs> uh, like a uh, big developer wants to build like a uh, Trump Tower or something, and they have to In the sewers. Yeah, but isn't the bad guy also like he's not a mutant? No. Oh, does he hate mutants? No. Alexander does he Kelly. just hate turtles? <laughs> That'd be is amazing. He, is his origin story he versus Scrapper? Or um... yeah, keep going. <laughs> Like, their origin story is they were friends, and then they went their separate ways. Him and ways. Scrapper were friends? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's in some to- story. I don't okay. know if it's this one, where they were buds. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Star Wars or, um, <laughs> or other Most Eddie of fiction, yeah. yeah. Does he have metallic hands? I mean, there's scrapper metal. Scrapper or? Yeah. The, <laughs> okay. Who are we calling who Scrapper? Because okay. I want to go Scrapper. Scrapper's the rat. Scrapper's the rat. Scrapper's the rat. Okay. Scrapper's the rat. Okay, there's. Shredder, Definitely you Shredder, Shredder is Shredder. one. Shredder is the villain. Yes. Shredder's the villain. So Shredder's the, the villain, and he so has the claw rat hands. is Scrapper. You already said it. It's not Scrapper. <laughs> oh wait, Shredder is the villain. Yeah, Shredder's That's the villain. He's got metal blades Ooh. on he's his got hands. Claws. He yeah. has normal hands. Yes, but he has. I'm gonna he think like about... wears spikes. Spritzer? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Spritzer. Spritzer. Yeah. Spritzer the rat. Spritzer Sensei the rat Spritzer. Scrapper. Yeah. He's got like a robe on and like a little like yeah, yeah. little spritzer. <laughs> you know, got to keep those sewers. There is fresh. like a smoking robe though, isn't there? Some kind of what? Sunset, Scrapper like, is wearing <laughs> like a robe. It is sort of like a uh, like a red. Who's Playboy man? Oh, Hugh, Hugh Hefner. Hefner. Hugh Hefner. It's got Hugh Hefner smoking but it's, vibe, but it's no, like... It's, like a, it's supposed to be more like, like a... Kimono. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But got it's it. kind of that color. It's kind of that burgundy... It is. Sprit scrip. It starts with an S. I swear it starts with an S. Scorpion. It does start with an S. Is it S Scorpion? No. It starts with an S. It does right. start with an S. Yes. So you guys are like nailing it. And it does end with E-R. Yeah. Yeah. We can play the Wordle Spicer. version. Spiner. 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 Brent, Brent Spiner. Spiner. Yeah, Brent he Spiner. plays the rat. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll think of it at some point All and right. just yell it out in okay. the middle of somebody's just sentence. Keep peppering him in there. <laughs> I have a question for you both. Slooper. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Are there any other characters in this movie? Yeah. Oh, oh there's, there's a, a lady. Okay. She's a journalist. Okay. Hey, yes, she is. Her name, no. See, okay, sometimes I get this confused with Inspector Gadget. Interesting. Oh. Because I think the bad guys are have a similar vibe. Mm. Does he have a cat? Does the bad guy in this one have a cat? I mean, I they both, well, okay. The bad guy in Inspector that. Gadget is named Claw, and Shredder mm. has claws. Okay. That makes sense. That, that might be it. But then also Penny. Yes. And the reporter in this one is... Not Penny. Okay. She wears a yellow jacket. Does okay. that help? In the movie? I um, think so. Carmen San Diego. Perfect. Yeah, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> She's a reporter. She discovers the turtles are real yes. and then is their friend. Yes. Probably after freaking out in a comical way. Yeah. I Most bet. of what I remember about Shredder Please. is that he is getting all the teens yes. oh. into an underground yes. skate yes. rink yes. that yes. Yes. rules it, hard. Yes. There's oh. a moment in this movie where we first see the layer of the villain, and it is like, yeah, it is basically like, what would be the coolest thing for a 12-year-old boy to just, like, be brought into? Oh, I should clarify, a 12-year-old boy who hates his parents. Yeah. Oh. This is for troubled teens. Okay. Yeah. And that doesn't sound that bad. Oh, that he's just making a skate park for troubled yeah, teens? Yeah, it seems like... Molly. Well, they're going to become the foot. I, I, I regret to inform the you that foot? he might have ulterior motives. Oh, oh. Well, that's a shame. He's is, like recruiting them to be bad baddies. Yep, maybe. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
Is this the one is where there's Is there at a... least one turtle soup joke? Oh, there has to be, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, Molly's better. I mean, there's, there's definitely at least one. one turtle I think soup. there's one in the arcade game that you played. Oh, really? I feel like if he if you die, there's like a screen of Shredder going like, "Tonight we serve turtle soup." Ha ha ha. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one with a pizza delivery guy who <sighs> kicks ass? I think oh. that's the second one. Is that a secret of the use? Yeah. Damn. That's too bad. He rules. He does rule. I, oh, you're right. I think it's the second one, and that actor was Michelangelo from this movie. What? There's some connection there. Molly, look this up later. Oh, Wait. Okay. Pizza like, delivery they liked, guy. They like the Michelangelo from the first movie so much, they're like, take off the turtle head. Get him out of the you're suit. You're in the movie. Yeah. Wow. I, I believe that is something Great. to be true. Okay. Ooh. You have a notebook? No. I Yes, I do have a notebook. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you asked. It is from... Purpose, which is well, a state. Wait, wait, wait. What's no, 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 right? no, 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 Scrapper. scrapper or scrapper. spritzer or scrapper. 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 So there's got there's a teen boy that we're sort of following alongside yes. the turtles. He human, is our, boy. Like, yes. human boy. Because he's okay. like our view into the yeah. Shredder's evil operation. Are yeah. all the characters Muppets or is this human Muppet combination? Human Muppet combo. Human Muppet okay. combo. Only the mutants are Muppets. Yeah. Okay. We got yes. the turtles. Who and we you just... nailed the names of. You did okay. nail the names and maybe the colors. No. 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 Some of the colors. Some of the colors. I was looking uh, at our microphones right now. Two of the colors. I was looking at our microphones Wait, right Molly, now. Wait, Molly, did you just name the colors on the microphone? <laughs> No. no, but they're close because red the, is definitely one, yeah, purple, purple is one, orange is one, and then it's blue. Maybe the microphones would have got you close. But Molly mm. said green. She yeah, said she said yellow. red, yellow, blue, and green. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway. Well, and then I acknowledged immediately that green didn't make any sense because how could you tell the difference between the turtle and the yeah, green? Well, mm. Okay, here's a bet I want to throw down. This movie is going to, at least during parts of it, take itself more seriously than you're prepared for. Yeah, they oh. go to a farmhouse and there Mike, is like Mikey says, "There's some real moments." It looks like the grapes of wrath. I don't remember that joke, but which it like how do you it, remember that joke? It how drilled did that into not my go brain. Over your head. I remember being like, "This is grapes of wrath." I think I had like heard grapes of wrath, yeah. but didn't know more than like this is a thing. Yeah, a book maybe. Yeah. It is a book. I know it's a book now. Teens. Teens. Read a book. Read a book. <laughs> Read some Steinbeck. Sure. <laughs> Teens love Steinbeck. Yeah. They, they should. That's one of the few authors read I read that I was forced to read that I was like, I love this. Oh, great. Yeah, they read yeah. East of Eden and it's like it's 800 good. pages long and yeah. kind of a Bible allegory, yeah. but I was like all in. Oh, man. We once went to a stage production of, uh, of Mice and Men, but like... It was like a, you know, schools come today. And then there was like a group of us, like theater kids or English. I remember it was an English class or theater class. But there was also a group of like slightly younger kids who were like not having it. And they were oh. just like awful. In, not into the puppy like, and lady being murdered. And like, well, they were room. like yelling. They were like heckling the whole time. And like mm. when the show was over, you could tell the cast was like furious. Oh, geez. Oh. Wow. It was rough. I read the beginning of The Grapes of Wrath. Okay. Okay. And I still have such a... um visceral image yeah. of right. this one turtle that's just trying to cross the road in the dust. Mm. Wait, there's turtles in Grapes of Wrath? Yes. Oh, oh, wow. I wonder if that's why. I didn't even make that connection. Yeah, but they Filmmaking. the turtle yeah. is just like trying to make its way across the street and it's just, it's a nail biter. Yep. One little turtle toe pushing the the sand behind him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. So... Mm. But yeah, there pick are up the book and read at least the first couple of chapters. Yeah, yeah. That's my <laughs> the ending. The very ending a little. Don't cool weird. it on reading. Okay, well, keep it hot. Like for weird, reading. like the weird, like the ending of it. Or I don't. I haven't read it. I haven't either. But it's weird. What grapes of wrath? I've read grapes of wrath. I haven't read it though. The grapes of wrath. I've read grapes of wrath. Oh, I love this. <laughs> See you first. Ha ha. Classic, <laughs> Classic <laughs> bitch. Teens, look up that bit from <laughs> generations before you ever existed. Yeah. They go to the old firehouse. They say, wow, this looks like the Grapes of Wrath. I remembered that. Yeah. And then, like, Scrapper is a force ghost. Wait, I'm sorry. Firehouse or farmhouse? Farmhouse. farmhouse. Okay. Is that like... going to be their new headquarters? Splinter! Oh! Splinter! Oh! 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 
I kept going, Spiner, Spiner. Spiner. <laughs> oh, that was exhausting. Oh, that was incredible. Got okay, I got Beth it. has been sweating and yeah. squeezing her temples yeah. this entire time. Templeton. I kept on thinking Templeton. Yeah, it's under her breath. Squeezer, no. <laughs> There's a lot of Shiner. words. Stoner, that's the one that kept coming yeah. into my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not it. I still like Angela. Sloper. Sloper. <laughs> But this is after they they have like a big defeat. Yeah. Because of how an arc of stories go. Yeah. You think they're winner, but then they get defeated and then they get come stronger back, and strong. come back. They go to the farmhouse and have to, I think they speak to They have to host. like get real. Okay. They have to stop whatever the slogan is from that dumb show. Oh, stop. Stop eating pizza. And <laughs> yeah. Start taking names. Yeah, pizza house. But yeah, like, they, <laughs> like the movie really leans into the fact they're teens at a certain point in the film, which is weird because like. They are the size of and sound like adult men. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but then at a certain point, it's just like, oh, these are like hot teens. Oh. Mm. Like these Muppets are hot teens. Are they going to have to cool it? Oh, they definitely Raphael, have to cool it. Raphael, Raphael especially. for sure has He's to cool He's the hottest it. teen there is. He is the hottest teen in the world, but also a turtle. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> are the turtles played by people that we know? I don't know. I them. think one, here's what I know. I know that in one of the movies, either this one or the second one, I believe Donatello is Corey Feldman. Oh, oh wow. the voice, not the Go yeah. on. not the puppeteer okay. thingy. And I, I think, will recognize that voice immediately as sure, the Gen sure Excerpt Quadrant. Wow. <laughs> and I believe Pizza Boy from second one is Michelangelo in the first. The voice one. of Michelangelo? No, doing the martial arts. Ooh, oh, nice. Mm, yeah, cool. I never appreciated until just this moment how like absolutely wild it is that. People had to do martial arts in those ridiculous outfits. Yeah, because like for wow. a twelve-year-old watching a movie, this is like pretty good martial arts action. The coolest mm-hmm. shit in the world. But yeah. they're weird turtle costumes. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. I wonder if that'll hold up. I hope so. Yeah, I know. Me too. I, I'm worried that now when we see it, it'll just be like a bunch of dudes in rubber suits just kind of like pawing at each other. <laughs> like a Godzilla movie. Yeah. Yeah. But not in a funny way. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. funny in the way that the Godzilla movie watched was funny where they like seem to be communicating through their pawing at each other mm-hmm. and being sassy. I feel like right. this will just be like exhausted men in heavy <laughs> rubber co- costumes. Yeah. Do we think it'll pass back to Wallace? I'm no, assuming no. I don't think so. We've got... I'm I'm desperately trying to figure out what other woman is even in this movie. Just the reporter. Right. The reporter has like a first name, last name situation. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yes. But I don't is know. Is it Lady Reporter? No. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm like trying to think if there's even another woman in the movie. Is there like a evil lady team? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. I don't think so. I think no. What are the initials on a, O. Well, initials Oakley. on what? It's Annie, Annie Oakley. Oakley. Yeah, on Lady Oakley. Reporter. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll yell it out later. Okay. <laughs> A-O? Yeah. Let's go. A. Amanda o. O'Neill. Lady Reporter. Oh, it is O'Neill. It is O'Neill. Oh, oh. But not Amanda. Amy? No. Scrapper O'Neill. Scrapper O'Neill. Slow. Her nickname is Scrapper. That's why you <laughs> call it Scrapper. Allie, Allie would O'Neill. would be clever. Allie McBeal. Oh. Why would Allie be clever? Well, because Allie Sewer, I don't know. Allie like Gator. You think a sewer and an alley are the same thing? Kind of. I I get it. I'm actually on okay. board with that. It's the same like thing, a cityscape kind sure, of future. Sure, sure, sure. They're in the same category. There's a category one <laughs> where oh, I see. two answers could be Allie and Sewer. I thought you were yeah. saying, I thought you were doing like a Paschetti thing. I was like, oh, right, category. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. <laughs> Half row. Yeah. Parker Bradley. And Parker Bradley. Addie? Milton. Alexis. Mattel. Alexandra. You'll get there. Abby. Should we leave this in? <laughs> For sure. I'm worried that the only, I'm honestly worried that there'll either be no other women or the only other one will be an unnamed pedestrian who like sees a turtle and goes, ah! Adele? <laughs> Adele <doesn't laughs> or it'll be an unnamed woman who gets a purse stolen from one of the bad teams. Oh, oh. there is a bad team stealing a purse and the turtles crush. Okay. That's like, I think we get introduced to them, like, we're going to go a, stop a crime. Uh, sure. A low-level crime. And yes. they have victory. And they're like, yeah, we're great. And then Scrapper's like, you can't go out there. Yeah. Because they can't see you. Right. Which I guess is why he's teaching them to be ninjas. Is like, then yeah. you can, I don't know. I did just see the new Seth Rogen one. How was that? Was pretty fun. Nice. Oh. Saw it with my child. No great. big deal. And my wife. How'd your child feel it. about it? He liked it. Great. We all liked it. Great. Oh. Yeah. Check out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Andy? 
No. Nope. Starring <laughs> so many people. So many people. And the art style is super cool. Yeah. It's is fun. it is it animated? Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Arlene. Nope. <laughs> Arlene. That's the cat from Garfield. No, no the lady. that's Azriel. Garfield. 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 The girlfriend from Garfield. Garfield girlfriend. Can I not get points for Azriel? I don't know what that is. That's the cat from that Gargamel. Has. We're not talking about cats, though. Well, Who's you Gargamel? said something about something that seemed like Gargamel's Smurfs. the wizard that wants to eat the Smurfs. Or yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that's what right. he actually wants. Okay. That was a 90s cartoon. Okay. Right. There you go. I, I give you a point. Are you actually writing down Molly gets a point? <laughs> <laughs> he tally, he started I put a tally under nice. her turtle soup now. What do you guys think? I'm asking this for anyone, but mostly Beth. Yeah. And Molly. What do you think is the conflict of this movie other than the turtles get defeated? Yeah. I actually don't remember like, Shredder's big plan other than get teens. Which now it's like, that's, yikes. that's a yikes, terrible buddy. plan. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's beyond that. Yeah. Beyond them trying to stop him from getting teens. Take over the city? I was guessing. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Like, know. what do you think he's going to do with those teens? Azalea. No. Okay. He's probably going to use them as an army. To he's, do what? Like, brainwash them to take over the city. What All else? Right. I mean. I don't know. What I'm do bad guys do? King of New I, York. Does he have, like, a thing? <laughs> New York City. Oh, it's me, Shredder. He wants to New replace York all the pizza City. parlors with hot dog stands. Oh, no. So there'll be no more pizza in the whole city. There might be no hot dog stands in this New York movie. Ooh, that's a great point. Does it have something to do with skateboards? Because you said he makes a skate park or something, right? I think right? it's just a lure. I think it's just wanna... a lure kids. Okay, it's not like he's going to use them as delivery people to deliver bad news. <laughs> oh, to I hope so. <laughs> oh, I hope that's part of it. Uh, April oh, O'Neil. Oh, Like if your brain just does something else, it thinks of it immediately. Yeah, other than wow. trying every A name you can think of for ten minutes on a recorded podcast. <laughs> Listen, you set me up for this. You could have just said what the name was. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, when you guess. Okay, you I asked for the initials, Ooh, we'll find or out. someone did. Uh, I Beth did. did. Beth did. Smart. Yeah, yeah, I needed the initials. Yeah. Dan's bat. There is a. There. Are there are human men in this movie besides the nice. metallic claw man. Is there a mayor or a police commissioner? I think there is a... Is he a cop? I feel like he's a cop. Ooh, a grizzled a editor of a I newspaper? I feel like there's a grizzled... Well, I don't know how... Because there's characters from the... Car, like, because there's other reporters in the cartoon. Yeah. Like, she's got a boss. Sure. And she's reporting on, like, oh, there's a big crime ring. Ooh, happening. I bet she is. I bet she's reporting on those teens. Yeah. Or whatever. Is she a teen? No. no. She's a She's young a young adult. lady. She's a young okay. lady. Okay. Will hmm. we recognize her? Ooh, great oh, question. So actor? I'm pretty sure one of the adult men is a character actor that I realized years later was in this movie. Yeah. Mm. So depending on what TV you've watched in the last decade or two, you <laughs> might recognize him. I hope it's Tom Hanks. That'd be amazing. Be incredible. <laughs> What if it's Vanilla Tom, Ice? He's what if it, in the second he's one. He's in the second one. Oh, oh, amazing. What if it's Tom Hanks under the Shredder mask? Wow. Amazing. We can't say it's not. Not yet. That's true. Yeah. Take off the mask, Hanks. Yeah. Yeah, Hanks. What are you trying to hide? Yeah. Are you a scrapper? <laughs> huh? What you what are you scrapping under those typewriters? Yeah, he's probably scrapping typewriters. Oh. <laughs> wow. You're making a typewriter man. Oh, Dan's bet. There is an amazing scene in this movie starring a young Sam Rockwell. I don't think he shows up in any of the scene in the movie, but it's oh. the best, maybe the best line in reading the entire film. Okay. Wow. Yep. I don't remember Sam Rockwell. Yeah. He's Looking forward to that. Cashing a check. I mean, I think Getting he's. start? Yeah, I think he's just trying to be an actor. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> well, this all sounds very promising. I was. So into this movie as a kid. We had it on VHS tape. I watched it all the time. I loved it. Yep. Awesome. I had, we had so many toys, which were not based on the movie. Though at some point they released action figures that were based on the movie because they looked more realistic than yeah. the action figures. Yeah, I keep making stated. new ones. Yep. And I kept buying them. I No, I don't think we owned any of the actual Ninja Turtles, though. We just got the villains. Oh. They were more interesting. Oh. Because they were all like weird animal mutants. Yeah, mm. I had a really gross looking fly. Oh. I had a bunch of them. Fun. Dr. Baxter in fly mode? Yeah, maybe. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Skateboard and Gecko, who also in the new anime. Gordon world. Gecko? Yep, Gordon Gecko. Great. Wait, is he named Gordon Gecko? Business, business, business. I don't think so. Oh. Mondo Gecko. Oh. Molly, how should we rate this film? Um, Grapes of Scrap. 
Wow. wow. Oh, that is good. So they're just like shitty grapes on the ground or, or is it like Scrapple? Oh, wow. Mm. Philly. Mm-hmm. What? Scrapple's. Philly saying it's for Scrapple. Oh. I used to live in Philly. I don't remember what Scrapple is. It's, it's meat. It's like, yeah. It's reject, just meat? It's like reject meat squished mm. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like bologna kind like of. Loaf? Like, like a loaf? More like a like flat sausage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Fry like a sausage up. patty? Yeah. yeah. Like okay. a sausage patty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like a hot dog or bologna, this idea. Like, and then oh. you can spice it up by yeah. adding some grapes with uh-huh. a little oh, freshness. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. So this is a whole dish. It's not like a scrapple made of grapes. This is somebody trying to like revitalize oh, the sure. Philadelphia culinary scene. This is one of those fuckers scene. who comes in and is like, oh, when I was <laughs> yeah. a baby in Philadelphia, I used to eat scrapple. <laughs> now I serve it to you and it costs like a yeah. $5,000 They elevate it. They're going to elevate. My mother, she gave me a bunch of grapes along with my scrapple. <laughs> and now I want to bring that experience to the good people of Philadelphia. <laughs> Classic Philadelphian accent. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you both are nailing the South Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Water ice. <laughs> Y'all, I grew up with that scrapple, and I also like grapes, so mm-hmm. I've elevated it by roasting the grapes and adding a little balsamic vinegar. The roasted drizzle. grapes. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now it's starting to sound like it's worth twenty five dollars <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. I'm from Philadelphia. Is this a uh, is this a brick and mortar or is it like a a truck or oh, it's a it's a food truck. Okay. Nice. Oh wow, food truck. I feel mm-hmm. like food trucks have more um, puns in the titles of mm. their That's yeah. restaurants. Good point. Mm-hmm. Is that did that sentence make any yes, sense? Yes, yeah, definitely. That. That's great. And I'm kind of imagining Perfect. it's not the food truck itself is also looks like it's made from parts. Oh, mm. like yeah. a scrap. Like it's, oh. it is also a visual art piece. Right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like steampunk metal. looking. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. When okay. I was growing up in the <laughs> junkyard, <laughs> of my, of my, mother, <laughs> my father was finding out of the precious metals <laughs> in <laughs> the Skikal River. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and while me, he scraped and scrapped, and my mother would scrap and grape. Uh, <laughs> Please enjoy. It's me, Thomas Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who's actually from Philadelphia? Who's from the Who's Brad- a famous Bradley person? Cooper? <laughs> sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, in the Cooper household. <laughs> uh, Is he actually from Philly? Did you just pull that out of your ass? Or? Will Smith? Bradley Cooper? Yeah. Yeah. They both are. Who? Oh, you said Will Smith as well? Yeah. I'm definitely, we're definitely saying that was Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper, yeah. Who else? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just lots. So just lots. Stallone? There's mm-hmm. lots of people. Is, Is he from Philadelphia? I'm not sure about Stallone. Dan, you're yep. first, as we all know. Hell yes. How many grapes of scrap? Is it grapes of scrap or grapes and scrap? Grapes of scrap. Perfect. Okay. Um, as I said, I was obsessed with the movie as a child, which usually means I have the fear. Um, because one, this is for children, so it could be a real snooze for us now. But I also feel like it's going to be so ridiculous that it'll be fun to watch, even if it's not good. So I'm gonna say four grapes of grapes of scrap, mm-hmm. which is, I guess, I'm ordering four, oui. right? We oui. okay, <laughs> yes. Okay. Beth, you are second, as we all know. Yes. I think this is going to be very fun to watch because what's not fun about turtles eating pizza in a sewer? Okay, could you describe the turtles in like three or four words? Mutant. Teenage ninja. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So um, I forgot I had to give it a number. I'm going to say four as well. Four for each turtle. Oh, that's fun. Each one gets a grape of scrap. Oh, can mm. you order it that way from the truck? You'll be like, give me the Ninja Turtles. They'll yeah. just give you four. Yeah, oh, and wow. they come in different color wrappers. Yes, or different color grapes. <gasps> yes. Oh. Oh. Wow, we got something here. Yep. Like the grapes are like their heads and they put a little bandana across. Oh, like those now weird popsicles silly. you could get <laughs> from the ice cream truck? Yeah, it's yeah, like, sure. just like that. Oh, Where like yeah. their eyes had like red hots or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow, that's, that is a specific thing <laughs> that sure I, is. is burned into my memory. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, my name is Dan. I'm third. Um, I love this movie as a kid. I oh, love yes. turtles, uh, especially the mutant ninja teenage kind. <laughs> I, I'm going to say five. Yes. I think it's, wow. it could suffer a little like family movie from the 90s, but I think it will be buoyed by like 
wackadoo nineties family movie right. energy. So I'm gonna go five. Nice. I love it. Great. This is Molly. I go last, and I don't take it personally. Um, I I really don't. Um, but I don't have like any kind of fond memory about this movie. I probably should have said it came out in ninety two or ninety three because I was just too old for. You know what I mean? Yeah. This was just not my. I was like watching other things. So you were reading Reader's Digest. And yeah. Yes, exactly. In your AARP card. <laughs> That's right. No, that was when I was ten. Oh, right. So now you'd be reading like I don't know, Graveyard Monthly, and <laughs> Come on. looking at you're looking um, at plots. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just you know, this is not my speed, yeah. and I don't have any nostalgia for it. So you're, I'm worried that will hold me back. You were more into the uh, shit. Biker mice from Mars. There we go. Biker what's from Mars? Biker mice from Mars. Yep. Another animal theme. Oh. We were just reading mouse. Oh, mouse. I probably was. No, I read that in college. Sure. But that's about the right timing. I mean, very different tone so maybe than I what was. we're about to watch. <laughs> maybe I literally was. Watership that seems Down. actually about <laughs> right. Jesus. Oh, I don't watch Watership Down. That is so sad. I, th- I think I was forced to watch Watership Down when I was a kid. Mm. Red. And this is Gate. part of Red my Gate. wall. You're talking, is that what you're thinking of? Yeah. yeah. Danger, trauma. Oof. I've heard. I've never down. seen it, but I've heard yeah. stories of being oh, traumatized is, by I that. I can still picture yeah, the rabbits going running. Oh. Anyway, uh, three. Great. I want to uh, tag up on that, Room Molly. for optimism. Do you, these uh, anthropomorphic turtles oh, yeah. right. are going to be in danger. They are nature. Very much so. Yeah. Teams. Is that going to do it? No. Or you know, because they're Probably like not. basically people. Okay. But are they like live turtles at the beginning of the movie and then we see them turn into their mutant cells? If anything happens to a defenseless animal, I'll be upset. But okay. an animal that has mutated into a muscular, crime-fighting, basically human adult, okay. I'm not going to. Let me throw this, let me throw this wrench in the gears, <laughs> okay. though. What if some animal danger comes across their frail old father figure, Scrapper the Rat? I'll oh, be upset. Yeah. Okay. Scrapper is a sweetheart. He's such a Aww. sweetheart. Just wants the best for those boys. He wants to make jokes, oh, right? <laughs> I feel like he does that in both movies, right? Yeah. He makes a joke. Yeah. And they're like, huh? Oh, so cute. Because they admire him so much. Yeah. He's, they don't expect he's it to be fun. Good dad. He is a good dad, I think. We'll find out. We'll find out. And with that, we're going to press pause, go watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and find out if Scrapper's a good dad. Uh, uh, um. Hey, listeners, it's me, Dan, your mid-roll hero okay. in and a half-shell turtle power. And I have a very special thing to tell you. It is that you can, too, make a movie happen. Wow. You have the power. Wait, a whole movie? Uh, us watching <laughs> yeah. a movie yeah. that someone else made happen. That's what a movie means in the context of this podcast. Okay. I see. Us watching it and then recording podcasts on either side of that watching. Yeah. Okay. Two pizzas, two pizzas. <laughs> For the low, low price of what's listed on patreon.com slash toastregal.com. Yeah. Yeah. Go there and find out. There's a few <laughs> different tiers that let you get to that level. Interesting. The one that Ryan did, and he's the only one that's done it, is to make Dan and I competitively eat fruit. This patron made, no, gave Dan and I the privilege to aggressively devour a pineapple and, <laughs> at least from my end, kind of regret it after. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of acid but in your stomach. I had fun in the moment. Yeah, it's And it's up on, on the YouTube. internet, right? It's on totsrecall.com under video. There you go. Yep. Check it out. Go and watch it. Be inspired. By so, Ryan. By Ryan, as we all are. Yes. And sign up for that fruit tier. Yes. And then a year later... You also get a movie. Wow. Oh. You get to us to watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And a hat and a glass. But it's a limited. And access to Discord. Yeah. Of course. And, yeah. and bonus and content. But we only have and so many media. fruit opportunities, right? That's right. There's only so many fruit opportunities. Thank There's... you. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Five fruit opportunities. And one remain. is gone. Yeah. yeah. Pineapple has been That's true. done. We, if you come to us and you say, I would like to be on the fruit tier, do pineapple, we will say, no. <laughs> Been done by a pro, Ryan. That's right. So be a pro like Ryan. Let's try to see if I can do pro and pineapple together. Yeah. It wasn't nope. happening. Nope. Pineapple. pineapple. Yeah. Brian, pineapple. Wow, it's there. Whoa. Patreon.com slash toastrigal.com. 
And now back to the show. Oh, oh turtle power. Turtle power. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> we just watched exactly 90 minutes nice. of uh, Turtles. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, That's cool. Ones. Yep. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtle Powers. Ninja Turtle Powers. Oh, that's a different franchise. <laughs> Turtle Power. <laughs> Where the world's most fearsome fun in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In their Teenage Mutant <laughs> when the evil shredder attacks. <laughs> I don't remember all the words, but yeah, I don't remember any of them. Well, this movie was totally different than that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not totally. Okay. Not totally. Well, uh, we'll, we'll get into it. I mean, Tur- <laughs> it was totally different. Tur- Whoa! Oh, shut it Turks down. We're not going to do better than Mary. that. We're oh, not going to okay. do any better than this. Okay. You're welcome, Ryan. <laughs> what did you say? Raph recall? Uh, I was trying to come up with a pun for recall, and all I could come up with Raphael because <laughs> it all starts with an R. Tort, 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 um, Welcome to my sewer layer. I'm Mr. Sloper of the sewers. <laughs> we all float down here, Danny. <laughs> Speaking of things that must be at the bottom of a slope because so many awards roll into them, okay. it's our recording studio okay. and <laughs> the awards that roll into them down the slope are for a certain segment Spectacular segment. that is called 60 Second Summary, in which we summarize the movie we just watched, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, mm-hmm. the original, 1990, in 60 seconds exactly. Mm. The tradition of this podcast, <laughs> in this podcast, we have me volunteer to do it. Did you but do I, it just? I like, do think I just did it for the horse movie. I don't know. We don't recently, know. at least yeah. the last two. Yeah. somewhere in the last yeah. two. So I will step aside. Thank you. Okay, mm-hmm. save Great. my time. They give you to wow. the senators from Minneapolis. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Dan Linden? You wanted to go for it? Okay, I know what you're doing. I, I saw you time. reach for wow. your phone. You just want a time. I, Beth should probably do it. Yeah, so Beth's never done it. Molly so does it I've done it so many times. Yes, I'll do it. Okay. 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 Someone Great. else, please time this. Okay, I'm ready. And <sighs> start with we open on. I know. Go. <laughs> we open on New York City Baby. April O'Neil is on the TV giving us exposition that there's crimes happening. We see one of those crimes happening. Eight teenagers and a ninja steal a single <laughs> wallet. Suddenly, it's nighttime. <laughs> April is a woman in the city alone. She is attacked. Suddenly, someone else attacks, and she's fine. But there's turtles. Whoa, there's turtles in the sewer? Weird. There is ninjas. There are teens that hate. And there are ninjas. It doesn't matter. April gets attacked again, maybe. 30 and seconds. They go in the sewers. Now they're best friends. And then Splinter gets taken. He's their dad. Now they have to hide <laughs> from the ninjas again. Then the ninjas attack them again. While they have real moments and hot teen arguments, they go back. They fight the ninjas Again, this time, the Shredder is there. Ten seconds. Oh, he's got a sharp stick, and he's so good at ninja, but then Rat Father comes back. <laughs> he goes in a garbage truck, the Splinter, not the Rat Father. Casey Jones is also time. there. Oh. Nice. Great job. Wow. Great job. Also, Molly. Weirdly. Incredible timing. Good timing I'm, for Molly. Yeah. I'm... That took all, uh, you know, I was really inspired by Splinter's. Mm-hmm. Uh, advocacy for discipline, yes, yeah, of course, um, and accuracy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the entire time, I wanted to be like twelve seconds. Yeah, you wanted to be the Mikey of our group. <laughs> I yeah. did, mm-hmm. but instead, I was ultimately the Danny or the Splinter or the one of the turtles. Danny is the thief child. Oh, thief child! Oh, because you learned a lesson and decided to do better. Yeah, I see. Mm. Spoiler yeah. Wow. alert! Wow. Yeah. 
Great I job. I mean, I think it was everyone. great. <laughs> and I think if I were doing the intro again, I would say that it was a movie filled with fun, but also toxic masculinity, mm. like yeah. really top to bottom. No more so than in our weird, like, hockey hero, yeah. Casey. I forgot Casey Jones was is in this one. I thought all of the, like, extra characters came in number two. Mm-hmm. But no, we got Casey Jones. Yeah. Talk about number two. Am I right? Because he was toxic. Oh. Well, he's a turd? Poop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to think of a poop joke. And actually, I feel like there's not a poop joke in this whole movie. That's Can weird. that be true? Oh, there's, I mean, there's, like, it was a... A tr- uh, uh, poop adjacent joke where Casey Jones was like, I guess you can't get a maid down here. Maybe Roto Rooter. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. It's more of a sewer joke. Sure. Yeah. But yeah. poop, poop goes in the sewer. Yeah. What? Yeah. Poop goes in the sewer. <laughs> Wait, what? They were walking through poop water. No. no. Yeah. That could no, have been that's their water home. System. That's true. It was New York City in the 90s. Okay, Come on. one pipe. Yeah, absolutely. Giuliani wasn't there to clean everything up and <laughs> save America yet. <laughs> oh, boy. We do open on the Twin Towers, and it shocked Molly. To the barber chair, she went, oh. Twice. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had to restart the movie because the volume was too low, and yeah, we, we missed, missed exposition at the top. Ex- yeah. expo- old Exposition April, yeah. Yeah. who really lives up to that name by the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. She does fine. She writes in her journal. Yes. I know. I'm skipping around. Sorry. Did we, uh, first of all, 100% Utah? Thank you. I was waiting for someone to compliment my great job. I did a great job. I did a great job. You didn't say 100%. Utah. Thank you. It's implied. Okay. Wow. There's Teen Town. Yes. Teen Town USA. There's a lot of rat father being just so, so great dad. Great dad. And almost dying. I thought... I went back and forth through the whole movie and be like, wait, does he die? No. Oh. Because when they summon him in the Grapes of Wrath house in the fire. He does say mm. final words. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. like a ghost. He's like a he's Yoda He's already ghost. a ghost. Yeah. 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 No. Um, that puppet is so adorable. Ugh. And Action. also like, I don't know, just like so great. Yeah. And one of my favorite things about the puppets is somehow they ma- managed to make the animals like eyes and nose look yeah. wet they're all the yes. correct level they have like the correct level of moisture yeah it's impressive <laughs> for tears yeah and i didn't realize that it, they were actually henson muppets yeah. yes that's why they're top notch and this was one of the last uh projects that jim henson worked on he <gasps> really? passed wow. two mo- two months after An the original jim oh wow, wow. no yeah. wonder it was so good yeah it was so, so he good. didn't even get to work on secret of the use no it's probably for the Oh. But I think Brian oh, Henson not... did. Okay. But I don't know. But yeah, they had like a, um, it was the first time they used animatronics that were programmed. So they would program facial expressions and program um, oh. the mouth to move for, uh, I'm, I'm moving my hands like the listener can see that, yep. uh, to, to get the lip flap yeah. Yeah. appropriate. And so, yeah, so that way somebody on a computer could make all of that happen while the costume or the puppeteers on the inside could make the physicality happen for the rest of them. Boy, did they make that physicality happen. Yeah. They yeah. did. There were a lot of flips. A lot of flips. Yeah. When they're doing their fight scenes, like they look great. And then uh, the sad turtles, when they all come to April's door after Splinter gets oh captured, my and you get four like sad like they hunched over. They really like our teens at that yes. moment who have lost mm-hmm. their dad because they're such blowhards before that. Yeah. Like you think they're tough and then pop a scrap rat gets yeah. stolen. <laughs> it's almost like, it's almost like they have a tough outer shell. Oh, no. But inside, they're very soft and Ooh, vulnerable. That's a yeah. really good metaphor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like a... Like an M&M. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Exactly like, like a marshmallow after you roasted it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like a well-roasted marshmallow. Yeah. 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 Or some nuts, but... Yeah. Inside's hard, too. Or are they legumes? We'll never know. Yeah, that's true. Like Groups. a really good <laughs> macaroon? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All these things and yeah. nothing else. <laughs> yeah, and there's only actually one really good turtle-turtle-related joke to my mind. Okay. Turtle and works. that's when a ninja... And, and to be clear, there are like regular boy ninjas, and then there are tur- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're both ninjas. Yes. But only... Four of them are actual turtles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, one of the ninjas that's a turtle okay. <laughs> is being attacked by a ninja who's a boy. Uh-huh. I mean. And young man. There's yeah. at least one adult girl in Teen Town. There's literally one girl and her whole thing is to throw her arm around a guy while he's playing Ugh. video games. Okay. 
She might be a ninja. No. She might be a ninja. She never appears again. She's just Well, they there. wear masks, Molly. We don't that, know. They are... She appears in a montage where they're showing you all of the mischief, including a roulette table, yeah. like oh, smoking, like eight year old smoking a cigar, yeah. skateboarding, yeah, cigar oh, smoking, so and then she's just sort of like the girl. Yeah. As I an just, example, can, well, can I just throw this out there? Yeah, yeah. The ninja, human or, ninja or turtle just ninja, the ninja. ninja in general. Yes. Okay. It's the art of invisibility. Oh. And so my theory uh-huh. is that we don't see her again because she is the best ninja. Yeah, best ninja. <laughs> Who's more invisible than women? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're labor. They're invisible labor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All women are ninjas. Yeah. yeah. She pretty much built Teen Town. For sure. They didn't even cover that. Oh, for sure. We yeah. are the ninjas of the household. <laughs> Whoa. Is that yes. woke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it comes for us all, the woke mind virus. Every podcast falls to it at some point. Did wow. it happen? I think it did. <laughs> Women are the ninjas of the household. <laughs> did we get to the one good turtle joke? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the human ninja comes after the turtle ninja and is going to slice his head off. But oh, he retracts his yeah. head into yes. his shell and then says, I love being a turtle. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. That was a really good Great one. Stuff. What about when he holds up turtle wax in the farmhouse? Mm. And he goes, that's <laughs> good. I don't know what the joke is other than he's holding turtle wax. Is he also asking for a massage? Because at that point, Casey no, Jones she, has forced April O'Neil into a massage we'll talk situation. About that. He yeah. is, Mikey comes <laughs> in. He is also sore. Because okay. yes. they were doing ninja out in the fields. Okay. And April O'Neil says, ointment. And he goes... I don't oh, need it. Okay. He pulls out the turtle wax. Mm. Ha ha ha. So it is for massage or 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 pain relief. Pain relief. Yeah, but like, but the, he's not implying someone else is gonna. No, the no. joke is like, I don't need ointment. I'm a turtle, so yeah. I need to put this turtle themed goo on me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which, as a child, I didn't understand if that is actually what that was because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what cars were. I mean, I knew what cars <laughs> yeah. were, but like, I didn't understand how they like. Yeah. Continue to exist okay. in the world. None of these jokes were written for anyone under thirty-five it when is, it came out. Yeah, it. <laughs> I agree. There's so many things that hit like just for like a forty-year-old parent. I guess the grapes yeah. of wrath is a great example. Yeah, there there, there were some a other lot ones of them, too. Though. Yeah. And they tag up with peace. moonlighting right after. Yep. Yeah, yeah, moonlighting well, because there's arguing. Beth even looks confused. Well, and then he's doing like impressions of like yeah yeah it's yeah it's very i mean wait was moonlighting the thing with bruce willis yes Yes. okay yeah and And the whole thing is they had like a very tense yeah sexually tense wow wow, wow. relationship Mm -hmm. Uh, but apparently the turtles watch a bunch of classic i mean they're trapped in a sewer all day i guess they want i guess and they're 15 years old it's like they spent the 80s watching tv so that makes sense yeah i don't know I was just like almost every joke. Wait, I was when like, did Who is this when did your for? precious Turner channels start? <laughs> oh boy, don't, oh. like could they have seen off. some classic movies in the sewers through the eighties? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's I a am really like great giving question. you a fucking layup here, and you're <laughs> giving me nothing. <laughs> Listen, I have already been criticized. It was off pod, but I have been criticized by a certain. Dan Jaquette. Oh, certain. Before the movie <laughs> came on, I said, oh, I love New Line Cinema. Yeah, and I tried to connect with Molly. To say <laughs> I also did. Uh-huh. Gives me fond feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just said it was owned by Turner. Yeah, she used it as a backdoor. She <laughs> sabotaged our relationship. Yep. To get in good with Ted Turner. Yep. <laughs> Who was always listening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He floats around his golden space station <laughs> yeah. that has a, a herd of uh, genetically engineered bison that yeah. have learned how to live in zero gravity. <laughs> mm-hmm. That turtle, that, I want to go back to the turtle wax. Okay. Uh, not because it's a good joke, but because it, a lot of the, like Molly was saying, the jokes are not for kids. There's so much stuff that when I watch this, like lands right in that area where like you, you don't understand, but like you've, just make something up and you're like, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah turtle wax is for turtles. Yeah. Fine. I, then you just move past Like you your brain is like, again. this is a joke. Yeah. So it's funny. So Throw it away. Why I is it funny? That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, as I watch this again, I'm like, oh, yeah, here are, there are so many jokes I didn't understand at all. But in my head, I'm just like, yeah, Mikey's funny. Yeah. Those are jokes. <laughs> 
Yeah. But like, it was so funny. Like when you say that it was clearly for no one under 35, because the first like really sincere scene of the movie where Splinter like sits Raph down and tells him he's a hot teen. He's got to chill out. Yeah. Like I, in that moment, now that I am 35, I actually had a thought of just like, I cannot even imagine like specifically my dad sitting in a movie theater with his children, just watching these two puppets have this like real moment <laughs> between each other with this like very dramatic lighting. And just, he must've been thinking of just like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah. And so that is definitely probably what happened is like, at some point someone was like, guys, adults will have to sit there and watch this. <laughs> they yeah. had to punch it up with something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like they got who, the same person who punched up Princess Diaries. Like, it just, all the jokes were so. <sighs> For 50-year-old men in yep. 1990? Yeah. 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 But that's okay. Yeah, they need to laugh too, Molly. Yeah. yeah. They were Vietnam? Is that right? Do I have the timeline right? No! I don't know! They are probably too old. All For right. 50 Korea? Year old. Ooh. Ooh, wow. That was a shit show too. Yeah. Look it up. It's a forgotten <laughs> war. <laughs> Watch MASH. What? Yeah. It's about Korea, but not really. It's about yeah. Vietnam. Listen mm-hmm. to Blowback. Molly, speaking of turtle jokes, you had bet there would be a turtle soup joke. Oh, yeah. And I don't think so. No, there really wasn't. There definitely must be in more than one turtle's property, though, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, for sure. If there's any justice in this world, yes. I have, okay. It's I'm, the Toast Challenge. Okay. For our listeners. <laughs> yes. Hunt them down. Watch Every turtle property, every <laughs> single one catalog, which ones feature a turtle soup joke? Yeah, I the dad from Fresh Prince has to have said it at some point in his voice acting career. Was he a voice of somebody? He was the OG Shredder on the cartoon. Oh, I didn't can, realize that. Yeah, Phil. Yeah, Uncle Phil. I don't remember the guy's actual name. I don't either. I should, but though. that was one of the things that like just blew my mind as an adult. I was like, what? <laughs> Those are the same guy. Yeah. yeah. I was pretty worried about pretty much the only actress in this movie who plays April O'Neil, uh, Judith Hogue, I think. Hoa? Anyway. H O A G. H O A G. Uh, and then I looked up her information on a non site specific place. Dish. Thank you. And found that she has had a pretty prolific career. Oh. All right, Judith. There was a little gap after this movie, oh, but no. then she got cast um, in a Disney show, a long-running sitcom. But apparently the son of the Walt Disney television executive that she met with was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. Okay. okay. So that might have been part of the reason she got cast. But then, huh. since then, she's been in a ton of shows, including Nashville. She played, like... Pretty important character, and so she's had a. So why did you feel the need to diminish her comeback in the television by saying that maybe she got it because she was in a Turtles movie? Yeah, you know that's a great point. I think (laughs) (laughs) so rude. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. Am I invisible to you? Anyway, speaking of women, Beth made a bunch of bets about how this movie would go. Um, sure. Well, also Molly. And Molly, yeah. I'm right here, She Dan. was kind of the ninja of betting, because you are you were the show. She's sprinkled what? it. What? I feel like that was a shared mm-hmm. effort. Yeah, they learned the true power of family or In whatever. fact, we came up with April O'Neil's name together. That's collaboratively. That is true. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. What? It's just like... Is it watching this movie? Because this movie was filled to the brim <laughs> with toxic masculinity. I mean, yeah, we've seen we'll fuller to... movies, but we will get to no, it. No, this one was chock full, and it was geared straight towards the eyeballs of children, and like the Manchurian Candidate, <laughs> has wow. fired off just a bunch of toxicity on our podcast. Sure. Clean it up. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Dan! Know. Clean yeah. up what? I don't know. Clean up this this, uh, this dismissive uh, the toxic ooze ooze ooze. Oh, that's that. the toxic. Now we're speaking your language. <laughs> speaking my language. Secret of the ooze. Is the secret of the ooze is the ooze is <laughs> the patriarchy. Yeah, I mean maybe. <laughs> We have to watch that movie. Wow, that's a college paper. I yeah, want to read. Hell yes. <laughs> Toka and Razar are two infantile men <laughs> trying to destroy <laughs> the light society. <sighs> anyway, I would like to, with 
the ladies' permission. Ladies? Oh, God. Okay. You just keep going. Just keep going. Keep what, go. are you going to call us toots next? Uh, it's Casey Jones did that. It's bad. No, that princess. But it worked out for him. Give me a clue here. Yeah, <laughs> so it did work out. Yeah. We'll talk about that yeah. too. <laughs> See, Dan did learn something from this movie. <laughs> Trying to make that point during the movie. Um, I want to read these bets because I thought they were fun. Great. <laughs> That's the promise of our show. <laughs> is to have fun. We're having fun. We're friends that we're having we're fun. We're friends that have fun. We're like four turtles. Yes. <laughs> Molly's wrath. No question. No question. <laughs> Best Leonardo. Yeah. That She's is a leader. Definitely Leonardo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Works, yeah. You're probably Mikey. I guess so, yeah. I don't know. Wait. Oh, is that Michelangelo? Yeah. They call him Mikey for short? Yep. Yeah. I did not notice that once. I thought it was a very different long. character. Wow. <laughs> Do we wow. have the proper mic colors then? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, Kinda. I do. No. Green's I do. not. We have no blue. Yeah, but like that's just like a naked turtle, right? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm the naked turtle. Yeah. <laughs> he I mean, Mikey's the most likely Mikey, to. Yeah. He would party. You know? Yeah. Party naked. Party turtle naked. You'd party turtle that naked. A, that's probably a t shirt from the 90s. Was he the horny one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then it makes sense. All Everything's right. adding up. <laughs> okay, what were the bets? <laughs> uh, the colors would be red, yellow, blue, and green. Yeah. Okay, or, yeah. Please. Yep. Sort of. Uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and Perfect. they wore masks. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Real. There was a rat named Scrapper. Yep. <laughs> Close enough. Shredder's there. Yeah. Yeah. The villain is metal yeah. and has claws. Yeah. Yes. Pretty good. I mean, he's not made of metal, but. No, but he is, he's like a metal he's samurai. He's got a theme. Yeah. yeah. Also, he's pretty metal. Oh, sure. Oh, he's pretty yeah. Metal. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. 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 Fair point. Um, they all have different weapons. Mm-hmm. They like pizza. Yep. Yep. And one is brooding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Wow. Yeah. Can we talk about those weapons for a second? Because this is yeah. the this was always the funny thing about the cartoon too. It's like it's very funny that two of them have like weapons that are specifically designed to like rend flesh. Oh yeah. So they were never actually able to use them correctly <laughs> because <laughs> it's for children. Yeah, there was a lot of Leonardo hitting people in the feet with his katanas. Like, and swiping they them. They just fell over. It's yeah. fine. They didn't get their legs <laughs> yeah. chopped off. I mean, we did learn from the scene where Casey Jones was cutting carrots with it that it was a pretty dull blade. Yeah. <laughs> Very dull. <laughs> maybe Scrapper didn't want to give him sharp weapons. Maybe. maybe still teeth. Yeah, maybe when they turn 18. Maybe, maybe when they turn 18, he gets an actual sword. Those are, like, training weapons. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Makes sense. So, like, Donnie's, uh, Donnie's staff is actually just, like, foam. Yeah. Like, a really dense foam. Yeah. And like Michelangelo's just got like two polar sausages <laughs> tied together. <laughs> but he painted them to look like sure. nunchucks. Yeah. That nunchuck scene where they just go back and forth nunchuck practicing. Fellow Chucker. Was yeah. that a was, was that, that like a... a fun nod to a thing? Yeah, kind of. I think there's a Bruce Lee movie. Oh, sure. Where there's a lot of nunchucking like yeah. showmanship in mm. it. Yeah. It was also probably because it was like the of the four of them, like the only one where you could do that. Yeah. Uh, right. In a crowded set. Meant oh, to look like a tight yeah. apartment. I didn't even think about someone would actually have to do that stuff. Right. I mean, if Did you're... Did someone actually do that in a turtle costume? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We watched it. It yeah. really happened. I mean... I it was mean, not CGI. No, I don't oh, think so. I don't think they had Cs back in the Do you think they could see <laughs> out of those they costumes? Cs in the 90s? <laughs> Just GIs? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oof. Jeez. Yikes. Korea. G-I-O. Look it up. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm talking about gastrointestinal. <laughs> I mean, they definitely had that eating all that pizza. Yeah, right? Come Ugh. on. What were we saying, Molly? I don't know. I am listening. I respect you. Thank you. Me too. I also do that. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm... Wow. 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 Well, that's good. You can't win. Yeah. She's the raft. Yeah. Although well, now you're kind of turning to the Leo with this dynamic. Mm. Should we talk about Casey Jones? He's our, oh, wait, he's our real star... Quick. Misogynist. Yeah, he's a star misogynist. <laughs> Real quick, I just want to mention that you really got to give credit to the whoever choreographed the Chucker fight. Yeah. Because they realized, okay, clearly Michelangelo has to do something neat, but he can't do the exact same moves as the human ninja because the human ninja doesn't have a two and a half foot wide head. Mm-hmm. So, like, he couldn't do, like, the switcheroo a lot because he would just oh. knock his turtle muppet oh, yes. head. Yeah. So we did a lot of, like, one-hander stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good job. But also his final move is just to helicopter it. 
But he like spun it on his finger like a Harlem Globetrotter. Yeah, that was oh, amazing. That was cool. That's what he Perfectly was doing. Perfectly balanced. Like, he wasn't uh, holding the handle. No. no. Oh. He was spinning it like uh, Riddick with a <laughs> blade. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But they, they set that up so he could do it, right? What do you mean? I would think so. I mean, he's wearing like he's wearing like giant foam rubber gloves. Yeah. So like they probably just like I don't know, Paste put a thumbtack yeah, onto the yeah, finger so and like, like spun it around. Father, you like finally realizing movie magic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this was an improv. Yeah, those were <laughs> it happened. Those were puppet turtles. <laughs> they didn't just build. They didn't raise for. Speaking of puppet turtles, oh. yeah. Oh, my yes. favorite part. Flashback? Are we talking flashback? Yes. yes. Oh my, my God. favorite parts of this movie are God. anytime they flashback. It's incredible. So good. The flashbacks were amazing. Yeah. They have baby turtles, mm-hmm. a little rat. Oh, oh my The God. rat is a is a muppet. Oh, for yeah. sure. Turtles are real. Oh, the yes. first turtles. The yes. first turtles yes. are real. Yes. yes. They get up and start dancing and saying yeah. pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> radical, <laughs> radical. <laughs> Wait, no, that was also real. <laughs> oh, they just like strung them up with yeah. fish line or something? Oh, no. no, they're trained turtles. Okay, sure. To sing and dance. Sure. <laughs> Hank, we need, uh, we need four baby turtles to do martial arts. All right, let me just get some spirit gum and some yarn, I guess. You sure you can? I could just make a puppet. No, we need reality. We Wait, need real turtles. Hank do animal training now, too? Pardon? They're making Hank do animal Well, because he was already making all the other puppets. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but they were like, no, you got to use the real ones or they won't believe it when we cut to the next scene. Yeah. And then Hank is so good. They're like, wow, these real turtles are beautifully trained. And yep. Hank was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, real. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely oh, real. And then Bob Costumes is outside just like crushing the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> so mad he didn't get this gig. I guess I'll go into sports commentary. <laughs> The rat, mm-hmm. yeah. baby splinter. Oh. I guess he's oh not a baby. He's, like, he's, he's an adult splinter. But like regular sized. But regular yeah. sized. Does karate. Oh my God. Along with his master. Oh my God. Yeah. Like when the first flashback happened, I thought that's where we were going. I'm like, yeah. yes, it's happening. Yeah. But it was still good because it was like all the turtles doing weird puppet karate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But oh man, when he gives his second flashback, incredible. When he's back with so his master. Yeah. But, I ripped off my glasses and sat up in my chair. Yeah. Oh no, you! The first time you ripped off your glasses, speaking of that, is when they got back to their sewer layer and it was all torn. And I, one of us, I think, all of us just went like, "Oh no, where's Splinter?" And Molly like ripped her glasses off and sat up and yeah. looked much more closely at the television. I'll find him. Yeah. <laughs> She was concerned for Scrapper. Yeah. Oh, Scrapper. But that's the second flashback where we see so Ninja Rat learning it, the moves is also it gets real as hell yeah, again. Where it's, it's a, like right. the backstory of Shredder oh. and uh, Master Yoshi, Splinter's master, were like competing lovers of sort of. a woman. Yeah. But like, Except like, one had kind of a, like kind no of a competition. one-sided competition. Yeah. One-sided. yeah. 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 They both were just the same woman. Yeah. It was a love angle. We've talked about love angles yeah. before. It was <laughs> a refrigerator situation. 50 episodes ago. It was. Yeah. 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 This this nameless woman. She, she had named. a name. She's named. Oh, this Shen, right? Ten, ten. She, Shen. Shen? she had a name, but she literally had no voice, and her whole purpose was to die for backstory. Yes. yes. Yeah. That I is- mean... Completely true. I mean, so was Master Yoshi, though. So they killed a man for backstory, too. Yeah, there's equality. Yeah. <laughs> two two corpses in this children's movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird that that, a that, bummer. It was weird that that flashback was, like, the most ridiculous, funniest thing, where it's just like, here's a puppet rat doing kung fu in a birdcage. Yeah. And you're like, this rules. And then suddenly, two seconds later, like, he literally, okay, I take that back because this was also one of the funniest parts. He come, they moved to America, <laughs> and they're so, they immigrated to America. Master Yoshi comes back in the most stereotypical construction guy outfit in the world, which is hilarious. But then it immediately cuts to his dead wife, girlfriend, whatever, who's like clearly been run through with a sword. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. There's Ooh. blood, and then uh, Otaku, so whatever his name is, I already forgot. Shredder. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> he like comes down from the sky because he's a ninja. Yeah. yeah. And I don't even think they really fight. Like it just kind of yeah. cuts to him also being a corpse on the floor. Yep. Oh, and then the yeah. rat cuts off like, his ear. And the rat's like sitting there holding his master's Oh, oh yeah, my God. Muppet That's rat. Brutal. Just gently holding his. That's how you know this was a Jim Henson production. Yeah. He's yeah. like, no, no, no. no. Joke. <sighs> like. Yes, yes, we've got it articulated enough to do Kung Fu, but it also can grieve. <laughs> <laughs> That's when those wet eyes really coming in. Oh yeah, right? Oh. The Splinter when Splinter is at one point kidnapped by Shredder and his gang. The Foot yeah. Clan. Foot Clan. Yeah. And 
he looks rough. Yes, yeah. there's somehow, like blood on him. Yeah, every time they cut back to him, he looks like he's like more and more in dire straits. Yeah. yeah. It's impressive. It is impressive. Do you think they originally had a scene where number two ninja is like wailing on him, but then they're just like, stop, stop, the, the head's coming off. You gotta- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought the number two was going to turn his back on his master, right? It seemed like he was upset. I mean, he yeah. started beating up children. <laughs> well, but he's one that scene. he's so loyal that he had to beat up teens to he, feel okay. better. Can we talk about the teen that falls on the floor and looks dead? Yes. But then another kid says he's okay. He's okay. Yes. And then I think they ADR'd a coffin to make it seem like no, no, he's breathing, guys. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. it really did not look. No, like that's no. what they were going for. Not originally. at all. I that, guess they were trying to go for the PG rating. That could have been like a edit afterwards. I'm just like, guys. We, we can't have him just kill a team. Yeah. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This movie got real as hell at some yeah. points, which is hilarious when you like stop and think like, also there's Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> but Teen Town does rule. Oh my yeah. God. Predicted. And it, oh. it lived up to my memory expectations. Yes. Of like. Actually exceeded my expectations. Yeah. We cut to like rockin' 90s hip hop. Neon everywhere a like 12 year old chomping a cigar and shooting <laughs> like pool. the size of his head <laughs> and then just the skate ramp throughout teen yeah, town yeah there's like a bunch of arcade cabinets there is yeah there's uh uh roulette there's just walls to do graffiti on yeah, yeah. yep all the things you're not supposed to do as a teen yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i mean as sam rockwell as head thug puts it like <laughs> you want to do something do it yeah yeah <laughs> my seven year old child talk to me about graffiti today but he described it as that thing with where you put paint on the wall but it's illegal <laughs> yeah he said there's one with a dog with a really long neck that makes him laugh and we just passed it was, nice. that does sound pretty funny <laughs> at least he knows yeah but that is and i was like but it's also art i don't know i get all yeah. fucked up trying to explain it to right him. Yeah, so that was what I was talking about at the beginning is Sam Rockwell, young Sam Rockwell, who I'm so, so delighted that he, one, was actually credited, but two, was credited as just head thug. Yeah, yeah so good. Big deal. Which I guess is accurate because like first you think, like, no, other guys had that, but like, no, he's head ninja. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he, his you iconic... You be a thug what? before you can be a ninja exactly. in I this mean, world. Mm-hmm. That is actually kind of how it works, right? Like, there's literally a scene where some kid, like, graduates from being able to beat up people well enough to get the cool mask. Yeah. 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 Anyway, the most beautiful moment of Sam Rockwell's career (laughs) uh, is when he's bringing new teens to teen town. He's like, yo, you got any cigarettes? And he pulls out two full cartons and just goes regular or menthol. Yeah. It's great. Are they even cartons? I don't know anything about cigarettes, but it's like a, What's what's a pack? Okay, that's a pack. Yeah, yeah the yeah. little one is a pack. A little and a carton. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Several it's packs. like how like when you go to uh, convenience stores and there's like a box of candy that is also designed to look like the candy wrapper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I get the candy analogy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or when you're buying magic cards. Okay. Yeah. And you... One pack's only got like 15 cards or whatever. Right. Yeah. But then you buy a box because well, you got a summer job. And the- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like 100 packs. Yeah. Or it's 2023 and you want to find the one ring yeah. card in the entire world and then sell it to Post Malone for a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. Look it up. Oh. Teen Town. Rules. Yeah. It, I it I think it perfectly hits like cartoonish adult yes. vice things mm-hmm. that like just works for like a ten year old kid's imagination. Of, yeah, like, giant cigar, arcade game machines, roulette. Yeah, right. Like, oh yeah, my dad does that. I've seen, I've seen that in other movies. Gambling. My, my favorite part is like this. Also, felt like a guys we can't just kill a teen moment where like <laughs> behind the poker table, or whatever, there's like a giant stack of cans, but it's clearly just Pepsi. <laughs> like, at no point is anyone drinking alcohol in yeah. Teen Town. Yeah. <laughs> But they definitely, they definitely are. were, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless uh, uh, the foot is like, no, no. Just smoke we cigarettes. abstain. <laughs> we abstain from alcohol. Okay. Dry teen time. I have to. Dry teen I have time. to admit something. Okay. Oh, I wow. still don't understand what Shredder's doing. What do you mean? Like, oh, okay. So there's like Teen his Town. Whole plan, his whole he's deal. He's gathering teens, teens who are outsiders. Yes. Yeah. And he's training them. In the art of ninja. Yes, and yes. they're like stealing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so and what is stacking his, it up in Teen Town? What's the end game? I have no idea. That's he's, what I don't get. He's an organized crime boss, but he's like okay. bad at it. right? So he's just trying to train more people. 
Yeah, he's yeah. building up his crime empire. I think just to make money. Like, I guess just yeah. doing shit to make money. I guess there's no point. Like maybe there's a scene that they cut out where Shredder, in his full Shredder outfit, is yeah. like fencing TVs to just like some New Jersey monster <laughs> in the back of an in some back alley. Yeah. Okay, and so then he kidnaps Sloper because yeah. he's trying to, because he's like this guy knows. Stuff. The turtles. Well, yeah. He oh, he also, knows the turtles. And no, then he's, oh, yeah, that's oh, right, right. That's yes, right. Okay. okay. He, Back up. <laughs> he, he, there's a line where he's like, the way that you described how they fight Which was is familiar. the best line and in the whole He's talking to movie. his number two. It was yes. like, I like, want to see that What was scene, that conversation? Right? The level of detail to their fighting style was like, <laughs> Wait, oh, wait, 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 back up, back I up. I know that fighting they, style. They kicked how many people with one kick? <laughs> yeah. They flipped how many times? And so, like, he knew in the back of his brain that, like, it was connected to Master Yoshi. Somehow. Somehow. Yeah. yeah. Because of how the fighting was described but, to him. But, like, okay. because he is a at least somewhat reasonable human being, he was like, I don't actually know how to make that connection because you told me that they're giant turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it seems like almost more that than like they're messing up my crime plans. Yeah, yeah. which is wild. To yeah, me. like well, that's the easy answer. He's like they're in the way. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, he, the whole crime oh. wave situation was a little confusing. Yeah, it was. Def- also, it felt like there was a subplot that they dropped because April loses her job because her boss oh, is yeah. being like extorted or something. That went completely over my head as a kid. Yeah. That there was like this corrupt cop angle in the movie. Yeah. I am so confused about her and her boss's relationship <laughs> yeah. because several times he just shows up at her apartment. No, she's at his, or why is his son there also? Oh, yeah. They're at each other's places all the time. It's, well, yeah, what is know. going Wait on? Wait a second. Wait a minute. No. no. April no. and the and boss? Charles. We have a different... I have a different question about April. I also have that question, but now I have a, this question as well. Yeah. Have just, they banged? No. Have they banged? banged? Is Danny her son? He oh, what? Oh. No. No, if Danny were her son, that would be a much more prominently featured situation. That's true. Yeah. But, okay. She, there is a point where he's in the bathroom with her, and she says, hand me the towel, and he knows that the towel is hanging inside of the shower. I thought he asked, where do you keep them? I'm pretty no, sure he asked, where did you keep them? Because, um, does he? Yeah. But I think he's, like, reaching that way because he's, like, towels are sometimes But she the says, shower. she's like, no, because she sees one of the turtles in the shower. Right. Yeah. So why would she tell him? He's reaching for it, but he's asking where your towels, because as we've already learned about Charles, he has no boundaries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bosses don't go to employees' houses. Yeah, especially you know, unannounced. And while they're getting ready and bring your son, it's weird. <sighs> yeah. Like, I think he must have just been, like, really, he must have had, like, a really tough night picking mm. up his son from the police chief that's like extorting him or something <laughs> yeah. yeah and then danny the our crime team yeah and the boss's son he steals 20 dollars from april's wallet yeah and then we see him he's a good boy again yes. he returns the 20 we know he's, well, he's a good, a good boy. young man we should talk about that too he changed his name from danny to danny. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but that moment of seeing in the movie he sees a 20 and he takes it that was like for me one of the first times of realizing like oh you there's like an opportunity to do a crime, and then someone does the crime. <laughs> and it's like I was then sort of, not terribly, but somewhat afraid of that situation of being tempted by this oh. crime thing. And I think it was maybe the first movie or at least a memorable moment of, like, seeing that temptation play out for a child. You saw how cool Teen Town was. I know. And yeah. then, like, that's the payoff. That- and his name was Dan. Oh. Wow. Eventually. Eventually. He, yeah, the whole crime spree, like you were saying, Molly, it was it, that was another thing that definitely was just like, like, let's keep it on the threshold of like, 10 year olds are going to watch this because they're some of the dialogue, especially from Charles and April, like they are talking like this is a movie about a serial killer sometimes yeah. where like, he's like, <laughs> you know, like he like looking out the window of his apartment. It's like, it's just what's going on in this city. You can't even go outside during the day anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like they're making it sound like it is like. Way higher stakes than like, <laughs> oh, that poor woman's TV got stolen. Oh, that woman. By the way, yes, the montage of there is a crime spree. Oh my god, all MVPs across the board. Incredible. Yeah. We, we see- start. We start with a eight person <laughs> handoff of a wallet yeah. in a crowded New York street because clearly you need that level of subterfuge. <laughs> yeah. And then the last hand has like you know whatever those are called, the little armor yeah arm plate thingies daggers. greaves. Is that a greave? Oh, Greaves uh, armor. Armor head. Sure. Z- 
I'm afraid of our breads. Oh. Well, they're probably just dorks, steampunk dorks. Yeah. Anyway, but then we see like <laughs> someone, you know, delivering one box yes. of a of a truck and we when we pan back to it, it's completely empty. Because they're ninjas. And that guy crushes it, earns his oh, paycheck yes. of being yes. flabbergasted that his yeah. whole truck. Jumps and then he turns around and leans back on his empty truck and is yeah. just like, you know, you, you could see he was so tempted to like say a line like, Oh, my boss is gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I went to pages. Juilliard. Yeah. <laughs> But it, uh, and then the, a lady oh. like goes to like ash her cigarette or something mm. for one moment. She's on a fire escape watching her TV, yeah. and she doesn't believe what she's watching. Yeah. Oh no. yeah, so she's like because Meh. she has the biggest eye roll. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think I it's a news story about the crime wave. Right? It it's, it's all yes. the same news story. It's yeah, April just, a, it is the only news. Exposition O'Neill. <laughs> yeah, apparently it is the only news in Manhattan. Yep. This one television. Yep. Yeah. There is no sports. Certainly not. She like looks away one moment. TV's gone. She also crushes it. Can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Okay, real quick, just to follow up on that. Do you think that's why that's Casey Jones's origin story? I was just there are say, no sports, and so no he sports. is like he was a professional for vigilante. one year, <laughs> and then they were like, "Sorry, we only have time on the news for the crime spree. Yeah. We're shutting down the sports." Right, and he was just yeah. like, and then he's no. like, "I'm gonna go and get those yes. crimers. Crime oh. took my sports. Crime fighting can be sports. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely what happened. Totally. Yeah, we did it. Do we need to button up?" The confusing extor- extortation, exhortion. What's that word? Where the where the chief of police is extorting April's boss. I don't know. Well, I think that's that was like a, the whole storyline was just kind yeah. of. I yeah. feel like a scene was cut. Yeah, like it kept. It seemed like there was supposed to be a scene where like Sam Rockwell or Head Ninja like came to the chief's office, right? And like, oh, it made perfect sense to me. Okay, chief doesn't want to look bad, right? We see him. Oh, uh, because she's she's reporting. out the news reporting, yeah, and then okay. the chief oh, calls April at her office, which is weird, yeah. and chews her out for reporting the news. Right. Yeah, that's like I think that's the weirdest part. Is I like. See. That's her. She's doing her job, right. bro. Yeah, bro. Um, and so now we know that he hates it when there's reporting about a secret underground ninja crime. Gotcha. Yeah. So then later, April's boss's son gets picked up. He's yep. late at night drinking scotch or whatever it is. Chief chair. Is that the one where pushes he leans aside back? His, yes. Push eight hundred degrees. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes. He's got papers on his desk. Pushes them aside. Uh oh, there's Danny, oh. newspaper man's son. And then he calls him, leans back 800 degrees, yeah. calls him up. Inversion table. Yeah, yeah, makes a call. We don't hear the call, really. Yeah. But then the implication, because next scene is boss saying. Showing up at her house. Showing up at her house, exactly. Oh, being see. like, you got to cool it. But he doesn't do a great job of trying to get her off the case, really. Oh, so so, okay. so the chief of police, that was that elaborate shot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, there's this shot. It's like on a dolly. Oh, like, yeah. It's almost dizzying. And you <laughs> yeah. like. That's right. It yes. did. It made the me dizzy. It actually Danny, did. And That's then it goes people. all the way around, and Cinema. then you see the chief of police. Yeah, I get that now. Right. I didn't realize it was Danny. I knew yeah. it was Danny, but I, yeah, I just assumed that there was like, I, I guess what it was is because of how movies work. I just assumed there was a higher level of corruption than just, I don't want to look bad. No, I think that's But now, it. in retrospect, that is exactly the level of corruption I would expect. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of, for a pretty straightforward family movie this plot line has a lot of pieces you have to connect together yeah. through like four or five different scenes and then later we get like i thought i told you to squash it right, right. He, he fires her eventually because she doesn't stop reporting because she does that interview right and that's when he gets the call for the chief of police like yeah. you see it that's <laughs> also the incredible opportunity to pass the back oh, to where she's literally so close. at a desk on on camera mm-hmm. talking to Another professional, another yep. news professional who would definitely about, have a Chiron on screen. That would show her name. Yeah, all you have to do is be like, and I'm, and I'm whatever. Claire Ruth. News. <laughs> Claire News. Ruth Claire. And that's been the news. <laughs> no sports. No sports. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got to talk about Casey Jones. Oh, yeah. Speaking of sports, he is a sports themed vigilante. Which is. He, um, like the fact they commit to it so hard, like as a movie, I love that so much. Where like literally mask. all of his problems are solved with sports equipment. Yeah, he wears a hockey mask. He uses a cricket bat and, and two tiny baseball oh, bats. Two Jose Canseco Canseco. bats, which I don't. I like. I knew who Jose Canseco was. He played for the Oakland Athletics, okay. wow. soon to be the Las Vegas Athletics. Wow, I think. Wow. Wait, sports is that a thing? Yeah, they're trying to move. I think things are in place. Wow. wow. Maybe by the time this comes out, they'll have moved. I don't wow. know. Um, and just beat beats up thugs. Yeah, yeah. Did we already say golf club? 
Go, That's well, later. Yeah, later he's getting his ass kicked by number two. Yeah. <laughs> Pat Dinja. What? Oh, poop? Wow. Wow, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until he finds in random box of stolen goods. Golf club. Golf club. And now he's got sports power. Which is amazing. <laughs> so good. Like, I just love how, and you could see it on his face. Like, it wasn't even like, oh, I found a weapon. It's like, oh, thank God, I found sports. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's his deal. That's in the cartoon. He's just like a weird vigilante who has sports and stuff. And maybe that would be okay, right? Yeah. He's not maybe the best role model for the 10-year-olds that Certainly are watching. Not. I mean, no. anyone, any that- kid worth their salt, you, they wanted the turtles, and Casey Jones was just there sometimes. Sure. And but- when he first shows up, Molly said, do we like him or not? Right. Yeah. Great question. I mean, it's unclear. Great question. Mm-hmm. Raph, doesn't, of, yeah. did it. Raph didn't like He's him. He's kind of like a dick. They're like Scruffy. frenemy vigilantes. Yeah. 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 He kind of reminded me of Ethan Hawke in Singles. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Just like too scrungy, but you're supposed to root for him, but you don't want to. Mm. That's how I felt. I only was. remember like 30 seconds of that movie, and he's not in that scene. Well, so. there you go. There's pizza in that one, too. Hell yeah. Okay. But, so, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, oh! oh! Wow, Dan. Wow. <laughs> what? You just really need to cool we it. We both said go ahead. <laughs> This is wild. <laughs> I'm not really sure what just happened. Me neither. <laughs> I was trying to defer. This was like, this is exactly what it felt like when Raph caught the host taking sick of at mid swing. Yeah. And it's like, who's going to top it? Who's going to win? Are you yeah. friend of a host? Yeah. Uh, it probably would have. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for giving me permission, Dan. Yes. Um, so anyway, so Casey Jones's luck or whatever his name is, is like <laughs> Davey Jones. Just Casey right? Jones. Casey Jones' Casey foot locker. Jones. Oh, <laughs> I get it. That's probably what that whole thing was. Probably. His interactions with April, again, the only named female character in the entire movie, are so toxic and yeah. awful. He calls her toots and princess and all this stuff, and it's supposed to be zippy, like, oh, they're really into each other. Moonlighting. And then, yeah, that's why they make the moonlighting joke. And then there's a moment when they are they finally do spend some time together, and it cuts to them, yes. and it seems very much like a... Farmhouse bang. It seems like they did. I agree. I think they banged. Because we get... Turtles are out in the ghost fire field all night. All night. We know... A night has passed because a rooster crows multiple times. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a rooster, you say. They yeah. are sitting the outside crows. next to each other. and But the, not nestled into uh, each other. Their body language is nestle. so relaxed. It's a major change from all the tension before. Mm-hmm. And we that know tension, that tension is because... relaxed because she's complaining about a hurting shoulder. Uh-huh. He offers to massage her. She says no. Yes. So he forcefully <laughs> shoves her into a chair. Yes. And, and begins... like pushes on her shoulder. Yeah. She tries yeah. to get up at least one or two times. But then she's into it. Because he's good at massage because massage is a sport. Yeah. <laughs> or she's scared. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's um, not true. the best moment That's in true. film All history. she knows about this guy is he's really good at beating people. <laughs> yeah. But I was thinking, once again, as I often do when I see movies like this, of like... Um, Movies are teaching us how to yes. be in life. Yeah. And this is absolutely, I, I can't draw any connective tissue between this and any specific moments in my life, but yeah. I, I guarantee you this with the mass of everything is teaching young boys how to be. And like right. it, it worked. He won that because yeah. by the yeah. end they're smooching. Yeah. Obviously yeah. we see it worked there in love. Yeah. And like there was so many narratives in the nineties into the two thousands, maybe still today yeah. Yeah. of like, you just have to take control. Right. Of the woman and show her you're a man and you're in charge and that is romance. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like just a tiny slice in a stupid turtle movie, but right. it sucks. <laughs> it's so explicit. Like it's so explicitly instructional, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like even a character with a ton of agency who's very smart, who's not afraid, who fights for herself. Yeah. Is still like shut up and kiss me at the end, and this yeah. woman is objectified not only by Casey Jones's Foot Locker, but <laughs> by turtles. That's yes. right. Yeah, they're like, oh, she's a babe. What a hottie! Yeah. I don't know. I don't I mean, know the words they say. At the same time, though, that is exactly how fifteen-year-old boys talk. 
I guess, but you see Especially what I'm saying, in the 90s, though. Because right? they learned it from a turtle. Oh, That's right. no. They learned it from you, turtle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it... That scene, I mean, he, like, pushes her down yeah. in a way that it's like, I don't know why they chose to use that one. Oh, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was 1990. It was prevailing wisdom at the time. <laughs> and yeah, then even, they cut to the turtle wax joke. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, a little levity after yeah. some. Yeah, it's okay. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Turtle wax. Yeah. And then they banged. And then in they the banged. Farmhouse. Yeah, they did, for sure. 100%. 100%. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Listen, they're in a very stressful situation. Her father's antique store slash apartment was burned down by ninjas. She needs to relieve some stress. Yeah. So she's going to bang the one human that's at the house right Yeah, there. the other ones are turtles and children. And they're underage. Yeah. She Here, can't bang a turtle, Beth. Molly, Beth. Here is one of you wants her to bang a turtle. Someone on this what? podcast wanted April to bang a turtle. Nobody wants anyone to bang a turtle. She has to bang. Okay. Casey Jones, lock her foot. She has needs. Ninja. She's an adult woman. Here, here's what I think okay. happened. The turtles go, and they go and do their thing. We'll talk about that, And too. April is like, you know what? I am so tired. Yeah. I've had an exhausting day because Week. my, yes, yeah. because my father's apartment and antique shop was burned down and all these th- things are happening. I'm going to take, I'm going to go to bed. Mm-hmm. And he says, okay. He stays up and thinks about hockey. <laughs> 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 then goes to bed. Sure. The next morning they wake up and they, she's, she's like, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go sit on this little porch porch swing and he comes out and he's like hey how are you doing okay and she's like i'm i feel better after a night of rest but i'm still really worried and then they just kind of chat and they emotionally connect you're saying like maybe maybe they he scene says hey like, I, sorry i acted so i know yeah. i came on really strong yes and i'm not that much of a buffoon i just yeah. get you just make me that way yeah. you make me so nervous <laughs> i just i know your news and news made sports go away and i'm just so mad about it yeah and, and they have like they a bang. moment then they bang well they definitely do after the movie's over <laughs> okay yeah. sure because now pressure's gone and they're like and she's like just kiss me already, and I gotta go to work. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then she's, and then afterward they get together. And they're right the by news. that garbage truck too. Oh, that garbage <laughs> truck situation oh, was yeah. like, what is even? There's just a crushed body. In there. <laughs> it was so yeah, no, bad. but okay, Casey it was Jones. Well, no, 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 yeah. Let's start okay. at the beginning. Okay. Right. Molly, I agree with Molly. Like Molly the, the, strong the, feelings about the, the garbage. Yeah, the whole garbage <laughs> truck arc. I agree with Molly. Like it, it has much to be. It, it leaves a lot to be desired for sure. It really does. It feels like they had the idea and they tried to work their way into it, yes. and it was. Just terrible upon terrible. Yeah, like someone in a room was like, okay, so we want him to fall into a garbage truck. Guys, how's the garbage truck going to get right under him? Oh, I know. Casey Jones's footlocker isn't doing anything right now. Yeah, he's weirdly so, trying to tell the kids, hey, is this family? Even though they can't even see what's going on on the oh, roof of that building. Oh, that was insane. Ugh. Oh, this guy is so bad at everything. I mean, that, was, sports. that was the screenwriter was bad. No, no. <laughs> the okay. screenwriter brought this character into existence and chose for that character Technically, to be garbage and, and chose for this garbage enough. character to run into a garbage truck oh. for the exclusive purpose of backing the truck up. It doesn't even beep. He backs <laughs> the truck wow. up wow. for the sole purpose of shaking a ladder yeah. which he could have done with his bare hands or any myriad of ways he Here's could have used thing. a tennis racket he didn't he couldn't yeah, find no it tennis, right? <laughs> that's what it was he was like i don't no have sports. any sports equipment how am i supposed to shake this ladder He's maybe like, someone it looks like a, a zamboni yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zamboni of uh, regular streets i just hope someone threw away some old golf clubs into this garbage truck <laughs> yeah no molly's right there because like he presented it like he sees like the ninjas going up to help shredder by the way we're at the end of the movie and they're fighting shredder yeah um and he does have this thing of just like oh no like it's like oh he says something sassy or whatever and then he's like i like he has this like aha i have an idea and he goes to the garbage truck which conveniently has keys in it because i think we decided in new york York. they always have keys (laughs) because everyone can just be yeah he didn't even do the the thing the flip brim just there we know you're talking about flip brim (laughs) flip brim (laughs) he didn't do the flip brim he didn't do the flip brim I literally don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> to flip the visor down to check to see if there were any keys. The keys are in, in the flip rim. <laughs> Everyone knows that. If you see the movie, okay. you know. Keys I are thought in the flip you were rim. talking about the thing that like moves the truck. Like, oh. to, like, oh. I was very yeah. confused. No, we had to move up the entire truck bed, and the keys are under that, <laughs> <laughs> taped to the pneumatic yeah. post. Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, he like dr- he very slowly and carefully backs the dump truck into the ladder, and then they fall like it works. Sure. But then like he literally just gets out and like one punches these two supposed <laughs> ninjas. I mean, they just fell off a ladder, I guess. And they are still teens. We don't know if they're all teens, though, right? They're all teens. Are they all teens <laughs> except all for teens. mustache? They're only teens. The and only they- reason they put masks on them is so it's okay for them to beat them up. Oh, sure. <laughs> and I mean, these are teens that still enjoy like video games. And you, a cigar. What Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm a 35-year-old man, and I enjoy video <laughs> yeah, games. Like, like, you know what I mean. They're I still don't. much like the four turtles show up at April's door, and they're sad, yeah. and you realize they are still teens. They are developing. Yeah. yeah. And as you're supposed to realize that when they realize Shredder is not real family, yeah. mm-hmm. throughout again, the like... movie, whether or not they're wearing a mask, uh-huh. they are teens capable of feeling. Sure. They're like soft-boiled legs. But yes. all of the... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> That's a, deep. A hard outer shell. Like but, <laughs> yes. All of the, you call that family speech, are at the directed to the unmasked teens. Mm. Oh, yeah. All the masked ninjas are already out whipping ass. No, oh, they're in the background. We can't see them because they're invisible and they're crying. They're ninjas, so. Speaking of ninjas so. in the background, one of my MVPs of this movie <laughs> is when they, the assault on April's dad's antique shop slash apartment, like a okay. bunch of ninjas attack Raph on the roof. They throw Raph through a window. Now they all come into the uh, apartment. And, like, the running joke is there's always more ninjas. Like, yeah. they keep thinking, like, ha-ha, we're fine. And then a bunch more run in. And then at some point, one of the ninjas shouts a word, which is probably the name of whatever this weapon is. And another ninja just comes with an armload oh, yeah. of axes, oh, yeah. Yeah. which implies that he was just out in the hallway with those the <laughs> whole time yeah. waiting. <laughs> like, that was his job. Like the It's man. just like... <sighs> It's like, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. no, like this was clear. Like he just gotten the mask. He just graduated. Yeah. Just like, all right, Devin, <laughs> I know the master says you're ready, but this is one of our like most intense missions yet. Yeah. So you're just going to hold the axes until I say to come in. Okay, Devin, yeah. can you just hold the axes? Yeah. Uh, yo, yeah, I guess so. There's another MVP ninja in that scene where there we're seeing just a cavalcade of ninjas enter the sewers. Ah, uh, yes. And one of them headfirst dives yeah. so fast into a storm drain. We've already sh- like they've already shown that the turtles like flipped up the manhole cover and the ninjas are following them. So there's already a clear point of entry yeah. right next to them. Yeah. But no. One of the ninjas is like that's the thing is like that was another scene that was cut where like clearly a couple of them are like lagging behind the US check this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> slid head first into just the curb. Like, as a stunt person, I would be like Incredible. this is gonna destroy my head. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. just diving into a curb. Yeah. But they made it. They, they made it's it. Amazing. And then they came back out that way too. Yeah, when they got too scared. Yeah, apparently the sewer grates were tricky, so they have just like an eight foot room built on the bottom of the sewer grates. So there's only so much room down there, I guess is what I'm saying. What, what are you saying? Should I be more or less impressed? <laughs> <laughs> I think more. Oh, okay. So the actors would go down the thing. Yeah. I guess there was a cut, though. Yeah, I guess there was they a wouldn't cut. have to have done a continuous shot. Yeah. I don't know. So somebody was just somebody like, it looked cool. somebody must have been like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What's this other hole? Yeah. yeah. Dive in there. It was more creepy. Yeah, it is. It was yeah. pretty like aggressive. Man. Yeah. Snake on down there. Yeah. Ew. It's kind of like the it balloon, right? It's yeah. like, it feels like. It feels like he shouldn't. There's nothing can, can go down there. Right. But what if there's a whole world down there and a human could go in or out? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, thank you. Like uh, X Files. Oh, no. Dooms. Not, nope. Yeah, or nope. the Lamprey Man. Nope. Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Anyway. What were we talking about? Sewers, ninjas, Teenage. turtles. Oh, Teenage. family speeches. Axeman. Axe man. Anyway, <laughs> well. Casey Jones stinks. Oh, does anyone know what a punker is? <laughs> because <laughs> when, when Casey Jones and Raph first meet each other, uh, oh, by the way, this is the scene where we learned that Raphael goes out into the streets of New York by just wearing a trench coat and a hat. Yeah, and his fine. turtle face is fully exposed. He sometimes is well, out he's there. He's got an eye mask on. That's true. That's true. His they, hat. they draw attention to it. They make fun of it with a cabbie who says. Oh, yeah. Looks so like there's a, a passenger back there who's like, what was that? And the cabbie goes, it looks like a turtle with a trench coat. New York, where are you going to LaGuardia? Yeah, because cabbies have seen everything. Yeah. But the passenger in mm-hmm. that cab was <gasps> one of the turtles. Oh. The costumed, the guy in the, to- the the guy in the turtle costumes? Yeah. Nice. So all four of the people who populated the turtle costumes all had cameos in the movie. Oh, great. I love that. 
we should also talk about specifically the people who helped with Donatello. Who got the, they get single billing in both voice billing, and yeah. physicality. It was Corey Feldman. Boom. Yes. As the voice and Ernie Reyes Jr., who does then go on to play the pizza delivery guy in number two that oh, I was yeah. thinking of. Wow. I nailed it. He's Wrong great. Table. He's great. Yeah. He's great. But it is why why Donatello? I don't know. In my imagination, he's no one's favorite. Mm. Except when you play the arcade and he's got reach. That's true. I don't know. Well, I wonder if they produced it. Like Donatello's the one. Which Donatello one is Donatello? Does machines, the, teenage, boot, do, he's get, the get, purple do, with the stick. Yeah. Oh. The bow staff. He doesn't really do machines in this one. In the cartoon, no. he was. I mean, he helps fix guy. a truck. That's and true. by help fix, I mean he sits in the driver's seat yeah. while Casey Jones fixes it. <laughs> and they play a little game insulting each other. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Or for Rooney or whatever. Anyway. What I was trying to say is that when they meet each other and his hat falls off and now he's like, oh, what's this bald green guy? He's like, what, you some kind of punker? Oh, yeah. This park's full of punkers. What the fuck does that mean? It seems like maybe the long form of punk. punk? I guess, or although. Like, uh, Crimer crossed with punk. Honestly, given, um, I thought yeah. this at the time and then given some of his other dialogue, it might be a euphemism for homosexuals because he's got some real oh, problems. Yeah, we do get a joke. Where they accuse him of being claustrophobic, and he responds, like, "I've never even looked at another dude." As if he said, "Homophobic." Oh, yeah, it was not homophobic. a bright spot. Oh, anyway, Casey yeah. Jones has issues. He has a lot of issues. Yeah. Don't idolize the sportsman. Idolize the rat dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. real. Rat Great dad. 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 At what point mm. in your lives did you go from Danny to Dan? I was or did never, you ever? I was never a Danny. I was never a Danny by choice. My parents referred to me as Danny, and then anyone else who calls me Danny after if they knew me before a certain age, I, it, it rolls off my back. But after a certain age, if someone calls me Danny, I just, I either, uh, bristle with rage and say <laughs> nothing. Or if they're my peer, I say, don't call me that. <laughs> yeah. I went from Daniel to Dan sometime and I thought it was college, but I recently found my high school yearbook. Oh, no big deal. Dish. And I am referred to as Dan in there. So I guess it was high school. Hmm. And then do your parents still call you Daniel? Um, usually, though, my mom has mm-hmm. started calling me Dan, and I it it doesn't sound right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob, you are a listener. I love you. Oh, you're my rat dad. <laughs> <laughs> sure, watch the movie. Watch yeah. the movie, Dan's You'll mom. Understand You'll understand. This is compliment. very sweet. Yeah. yeah, you can just fast forward through all the parts for the rat. It'll make sense. Yep. Don't skip the flashbacks. No, no absolutely not. No. Yeah, I'm only Daniel. I was only Daniel if I was like, if she was mad, my mom was mad at me. Mm. Like, that's how I, I always think of it. It's just like, Daniel. Yeah, I always because, think of it in that tone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I ask because. Yes, this is important. Oh, yeah. Danny, in, our hottest, our key hot team. Our hottest yeah. human team. Human team. Yes, thank you. Yeah, he goes by Danny throughout the entire movie. But yes. at the end, when he... Um, goes and finds his dad after the Crimer is crushed in a garbage <laughs> After truck. Captain Crimer is crushed in a garbage yeah, truck. Yeah, so nonchalantly, he's just crushed to death. Yeah, by it's wild. Truck. Anyway. Although, if you, spoiler alert for the sequel, yeah, it, there's, there's literally a moment in that movie that's just like, ah, he's just covered with garbage, it's fine. Yeah. But then he gets the ooze. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers. Wow. No, anyway, watch it. Beth. He... Goes it back to his dad, and they have a moment, and he's like something, something, Danny, yeah. and he goes, "Actually, I'd like to be called Dan." From Hell yeah, he's Dan. seen some right. shit. Yeah, he has seen some shit. He just watched his surrogate father get crushed by a garbage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was pretty intense. After being thrown off by his other surrogate father, yeah, the yeah. roof, right, wow. scrapper, and yeah. then his other father shows up to cover it on the news. Yeah, yeah. at one point, <laughs> at one point during the movie, Dan and I were muttering to our to each other, and I was like. When he, after he had gotten to know, after Danny got to know Splinter while he was apparently like Splinter was just being slowly tortured and starved to death or whatever yeah. in the mm. teen town back room or something. <laughs> it was like a point where it was like. It was the box room. Oh, right. The empty box room, of course. <laughs> so those golf clubs were in there. Yeah, well, the empty box room. It was like, yeah, he's got his evil dad, great dad, and dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> just dad. Human yeah. dad in every way. Yes, yeah. exactly. Just truly human. Yes. Yeah. Uh, while we're talking names, I just want to give a shout out to all the parents out there who are naming your kids Yoshi. I know of two Yoshis. Oh, one yeah? is my child's age and one nice. is like a couple of years older. It's a great name. It is a great name. Yeah. Just solid all the way around. So it's, Yeah, it sounds badass. Yeah, tip of the hat. 
Anyway, Yoshi was also the name of a character in this movie. The master. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Scrapper's master. Scrapper master. Mm-hmm. The scrap master. Uh, and may I suggest Scrapper for your next child? Sure. Oh. Yeah. Or Sloper. <laughs> or Sloper. sloper. Little Both baby Sloper. <laughs> hey, listen, those um, either gender, like last name, sound, and names are very popular right now. That's, That's true. true. Scrapper is gender neutral. Yeah. Totes challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Have a child. Name, them sloper or Name it sloper or scrapper. We'll accept yeah. either. Yeah, yeah. And then totes recall as the middle name. Of course, yeah. And then dot com. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, great. Well, speaking of fans, like the fans are that name their child sloper and dot com and dot com. We that's right. We go to discord dot com maybe. It's in the dot com. Maybe dot gg or Uh-oh. app or some yeah, shit like that. GG. Uh, GG. I don't know. Good game. Well, a lot of those. Go. A lot of those. Green. Um, green is there a name stuff. for that? Like a dot com dot org. Yeah. I'm sure there is. Suffix? Some of those are like country right yeah. titles. So I don't know what GG would be. Green Green. German. Gary. German Jones. <laughs> German Jones. German Jones. <laughs> German Jones. G. Lady Gaga German Gagato. Jones is also a great name for yeah. a kid. If you want to name your child German Jones, <laughs> Totes Recall. For sure a private eye. And Jones is spelled with a G, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, of course. Gons? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jones. God. Uh, uh, K- that's me, Casey Gons, sports vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we go to dot .gg. Dot .gg. Or whatever. Germany. Discord. Groviet <laughs> Grunion. <laughs> and as for questions and comments about the movie yes. we're watching. Uh, Hugh Zancy's fan engagement. TMNT. And we got some. Hooray. My last name is a palindrome. Asked, does Raphael sound like he's auditioning to play a young Joe Pesci or is it just me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It, I, I love was very voice. amused. I love the Raph voice. They have different regional yes. accents. <laughs> like Mikey's got like a surfer dude. Whoa, yeah. cowabunga. And then Raphael, yeah, is like Mr. New York. Hey, yeah. which makes more sense. They live there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He he sounds like he should be singing Be Cool Boy from West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> He is the only actor that was both the voice and the physical body. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's cool. That, that was his actual cool. voice. Neat. I now respect him even more, the wow. Raph actor. Yeah, Raph actor. Raph actor. Sag Raph Dra. What? Wow. Union Strong. Oh, Support the strikes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they're done by the time this comes out, <laughs> which they won't, they won't be. Who knows? They won't be. They're I'll waiting for what. everyone to lose their house. Monsters. Awful. Total monsters. The reference machine asks, who is your personal favorite turtle? Oof. Michelangelo. Rough. It's always been my key. Party turtle. Love him. I think I did, actually. I When I was a kid, I always aspired towards the characters who were like, yeah, they were like the smarties who could also kick ass. Like, I was really, I liked Donnie. I was really into the Beast from the X-Men. Sure. Oh, uh yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was a relatively intelligent child, but was <laughs> <Right. Brady. laughs> you know, wow. just saying I had a pretty good vocab when I was a young boy. All right, and you got the purple mic, so that and I got the purple sense. mic. So I'm Beth told. clearly knew that I was the smartest one. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, but I couldn't kick ass, so oh. maybe that's why I always like was drawn towards those characters. You're like, you're halfway there. Yeah. I'm relatively smart. Like and part of that was, I mean, part of that, to be fair, was because I was terrified of my own size and strength. Sure, as sure, a child. sure. Which was the tiny turtle that went radical, radical. I just assumed that was Mikey. Probably right? Mikey. Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite Well, maybe one. he was Pizza, Pizza, Pizza. Oh, were those different baby turtles? Too. I hope those are different turtles. Mine are the baby turtles. Yep. Okay. Same with Molly? Total agree. Yep. Wow. What about uh, 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 Venus de Milo from the <laughs> short-lived live-action television show? Oh. It was a lady turtle. Oh. Wow. Did she wear lipstick? I think she just had a bosom, but like a very subtle turtle shell bosom. Sure. <laughs> like sure. turtles have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes That's sense. That's how you sex a turtle. That's how yeah. you determine the sex of a turtle in the wild. <laughs> like, is... Do they have boobs? Yeah. Actually. To feed their turtle young. Yeah. To bizarre. Their that eggs. is bizarre. Look it up. I don't want to look it up. That looks. That sounds no, terrible. No, something for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else is for the boys. For Ninja Turtles, Toad's Challenge. Google turtle with boobs. No, <laughs> no, don't, don't, do not. <laughs> I double challenge you to not do that. <laughs> you're never gonna find someone to raise German Jones with if you're. Yeah, that's true. Googling turtle boobs. <laughs> 
My favorite non-turtle character, which was in the many action figures I owned, was the cool snake guy because Ooh. they built him without legs. So they had to like mold the tail to have a couple of flat points so he could actually like sit oh, up. Sure. And he had like the cobra fan on his head. Oh, yeah. oh, it was very good. cool. That is cool. I can't remember his name. They all had weird pun names. Yeah. I only remember Antrax, the ant <laughs> mutant. Yeah. We had a gator. Yeah, alligator called like Leatherback or something. Leatherhead. Leatherhead, yeah. yeah. He was like a bayou yes. based villain. <laughs> yes. Was, was that the question? Uh, I oh. I pivoted. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Just> talking toys. <laughs> Jack and Joyce. With Dan and Dib, yep. the reference machine goes on to ask mm. if you had to design a new turtle, which oh, artist, man. color, weapon would you use? Hell yes. Great question. Yeah. Uh, Yo-Yo Ma. Okay. Is my artist. Yep. Okay. The color would be rainbow. Okay. Mm. And the weapon would be. A cello club. <laughs> a nice. cello club? Yeah. I love what does it. that mean? Do you just mean a viola? <laughs> sure. Well, it's strong. Mm. So you can use the whole cello as a club. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Because it's so tough. He's jacked. Yeah. He's a jacked turtle. Yeah. He's like the bane of turtles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mine would be uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frida Kahlo. Okay. And the animal would be like. No, no, no. That wasn't part of the question. These are turtles. Oh, it's a turtle. The turtle would Artist be... color weapon. Free Respect to Kahlo. the fan engagement, Molly. <laughs> color would be fuchsia. Okay. Oh. And the weapon would be fruit hurled at you. Whoa. With like stars inside. So you think it's just a watermelon. Wait, what? Ninja stars? Then, yeah. yeah. But ninja stars are inside. So after you get. They're like, ha ha ha, that's just a melon. But then there's. Just, then it's like. Like it explodes. You get stars all over you. Yeah. That's wow. badass. Yeah. yeah. So do, do they have just like. Frida a, does not mess around. Do they just have like a basket of fruit <laughs> like strapped to their back? Yeah. Nice. Like an arrow quiver. But fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That rocks. Nice. Know, just pouches. Mm-hmm. What? Fruit pouches. Mm-hmm. Just everywhere. Just yep. covered in pouches. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Beth? Let's see. Who's an artist? Andy Warhol. Sure. And the color is clear. Nice. Oh. Yes. Clear turtle. Yeah. And we're talking about the masks, right? Not a transparent turtle. Both. Wow. Yeah, it's like kind of a ghost turtle. I love it. Oh, it's all it's all clear. You yeah. can't like see its organs. And his weapon is just sick birds. The truth. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. The spoken word. I mean, I would be yeah. very into that, Warhol, actually. Warhol, sassy, clear, ghost it's turtle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Right. Everyone draw these. Yeah, yeah fan oh, art. Oh, yeah, if Put you, if you uh, like to draw. Yeah. Or even if you in? don't. No, sure. No, I didn't, Force Molly. Force yourself to do something I was, you don't I like. was prompting you to be able to do yours. Maybe if you'd listened, you'd realize, hey, I haven't heard from Dan in a while. Oh. No, I <laughs> literally did that. <laughs> it's I feel I literally did that. I was like, oh, we're moving on before Dan Linden we has on? gone. We're just four turtles <laughs> who are like family. Yes. Yeah. Get in these little tiffs. But we're teams. But we at, don't know at the how... end of the day, we're a team. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we watch each other. We hold vigil with each other while we recuperate in a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> which which turtle? Yes. Uh, okay. Artist, color, weapon. Yep. Okay. My turtle would be... Uh, Vin Diesel, mm. uh, artist, artist, artist. Yeah. True yeah. artist. Yeah. <laughs> um, the color would be um, like the okay, like the Zubas pattern that was like a white background with a black stripe, but yeah. the stripe had like sort of like a teal outline. Yeah, you know yes. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, and then the weapon would be um, uh, sand. Oh, oh wow. just loose sand. I thought you were going to say it was a <laughs> voice so deep that it would just blow Whoa. people's minds. Yeah. And they would just like accidentally murder themselves trying to get their voice well, that way. Vin, wow. Vin Diesel is going to be voiced by Tyrese. Oh, got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. But Vin Diesel uh, will be in amazing. the costume for got sure. You. Yeah. Got you. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Love it'll be it. like Groot where he's like way too committed, even though like no one ever actually sees him. <laughs> he still shows up in stilts and yeah. Yeah. Like, for the Why? turtle for the yeah. turtle costume too. It's like, yeah. No, Vin, it's a. It's like a human sized turtle. Human sized turtle. Google it. If you want to Google anything that's oh, going to be yeah. fun Hell from this yes. episode, just Google Vin Diesel. Vin on Diesel still. voices Groot. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Like, like the I, the fact that uh, uh, somebody actually had to like 
like saw him coming to the studio. He's like, oh, <laughs> God damn it. I had to raise the microphone up <laughs> yeah. so he could actually it's put amazing. his face. Amazing. So good. Stupid. All right. Final cue. Whoa. From Detsuker. Hopefully not too late. Which version is superior? Comics turtles, cartoon turtles, or movies turtles? Wow. Mm. I have to, I can't answer that question. I think I've seen the, the cartoon, but um, I don't really remember it I mean, that there are well. like eight cartoons now, too. I mean, I think I would have to say the four-person player video game turtles. Sure, which is basically mm. the cartoon. Yeah. yeah. So. I like that a lot. I like this movie, though. Sure. I like the melty popsicle thing from what you know the ice cream oh yeah the ice oh cream that's truck. your favorite oh, yeah. ice cream turtle yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice cream turtle. Ice cream i love yeah. that answer going off script those weren't the choices no you guys are really We're not respecting our fans nope. but okay well i answered the question and then i added something yeah this fan was fun. so concerned that they wouldn't get their question in, and here we are just <laughs> shitting all over it yeah. video game ice cream <laughs> i'm going cartoon which cartoon the one that I watched when I was a kid. Okay. Have you seen any other ones? Have you and your, your young charge no. watched any Turtles cartoons? Well, I okay. maybe tried to start the Nickelodeon one from like the early 20 teens. Sure. That looked like still for kids, but a little bit grittier. Yeah. Mm. They had like triangle eyes. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> to show oh, that they yeah. were badass. Yeah. It looked like it had promise, but it didn't. Mm. I don't know. It didn't capture his imagination. Gotcha. Maybe it's time to go back. Well, now he's got Mutant Mayhem to wet his whistle, turtle whistle. <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah. You said you saw the movie. I don't <laughs> I know. Do. I just don't like you talking about my child wedding. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Right. Okay. All right. Christ. I'll also go with the cartoon that yeah. Dan and I watched as children. Yeah. Which I watched the choices. Given I watched it all the time. Wow. Like I was super into that. And I clearly was super into it before this movie because it happened before the movie. So yeah. that's probably why I was super into this movie. One criticism I have of that cartoon. Let me turn my hat backwards and get into wow. the front of my truck and get on YouTube for a second. <laughs> Real quick, there's an episode of that show. Where are your sunglasses, though? My sunglasses are down. You cannot see my pupils. Wow. Oh, okay. They are wrapped is that all, you all the way around your head. Oh, you Usually I think of them as oh, also being on the back of your right. head. But you know what? If you don't want, we we can't see your eyes. That's yeah. true. So we can't trust you. That's but true. okay. <laughs> there was an episode of that show, Timey, uh, where Krang's plan is to send oh, the entire Krang. planet Earth to Dimension X. Yeah. They stop him by sending the Technodrome, which is his weird spheroid yeah. base of operations on Earth, to Dimension X. And what happens then is all of his weird Dimension X rock soldiers start shooting at the Technodrome with handheld weapons, like laser guns. Yeah. Which implies that the actual plan was to send the entire planet Earth and then a bunch of human sized creatures were just going to shoot at it with handheld weapons. How was that going to do anything? What were they shooting? The planet Earth. The rock people were going to shoot Earth? I guess, because that's what they did when the Technodrome came through. And they're like, is that Earth? It's a sphere, whatever. Oh, they mistook the Technodrome that was for their, the planet? That was how the turtles defeated Krang. Oh, wow. wow. But, like, just look at how light diffuses through the atmosphere. Oh, maybe the atmosphere doesn't come with it. No, it would come with, because there's no. still gravity. Does it Unless shrink there's no all? gravity in Dimension X. Wow. Time. Okay, great. <laughs> Quick great. shout out to the NES Ninja Turtles game, which was insanely the hard. first one? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Jesus. My brother beat the Technodrone, but I, while I prayed in the other room that he would succeed. Because <laughs> we had tried you even watch? so many. No, I couldn't. The <laughs> pressure was too high. We were too filled with video game rage Did on you, this frustrating level. Was, oh, it, his, was it his decision that you couldn't watch? Or were you like, I'm too stressed out? I think I was too stressed Amazing. out. Like the energy in the room was too <laughs> intense for me to be in there. Amazing. I don't remember if he did it. I hope he did. Wow. <laughs> that game was so damn hard. So That's hard. incredible. Can I just do a little facts Please. moment here? Where are these facts from, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> You've been dropping facts about these turtle actors all night. They're from Wikipedia. <gasps> Wikipedia. 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 Oh, we haven't talked about that yet. Wikipedia on a half show. Wiki power. Wiki power. Two dollars, three dollars for every ever user, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. I just want to talk about what a moneymaker this movie was. Hell it was yes. an independent film. Okay. So you were correct to say, how shall we rate this film? Oh. Yes. Oh. It cost $13.5 million to make. That's it? Wow. How much did it gross? $150,000 million. <laughs> Beth wow. wins $202 million. Wow. Nice. Wow. 
Yeah, oh, crushed that's it. huge. And Eastman and Laird, yeah. the two guys, uh, license artists, the characters yeah. to Playmates toys, uh-huh. which developed the line of Turtles action figures. Guess how many cents they made off dollars of, that? <laughs> uh, of toys? So. The dollar amount of toys, right? So the merchandising yep. number. Yeah. Yep. Were sold between 1988 and 1992, a four-year period. Guess how much? $150,000 million. Three million. Two billion. $1.1 billion wow. in four years. They were the third best-selling toy figures ever. I mean, they were time. churning out those snake guys and the ant guys and the elephant guy and the fly guy and, and the and cat guys and the were... frog guys. And the... Oh, I had frog guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's they a very were... pleasing blue color to shorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guess there were two other actors who appear as unnamed <sighs> members of the Foot Clan. Okay. Oh, credited roles. Skeet Earlrick. Ulrich. Ulrich? Ulrich. 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 Screen guy. Screech. Yeah. Screech. Skeet. Screech. Screech. <laughs> no, and Scott Rich. Scott Wolf from Party of Five. Oh. Yeah. Were they in masks or were they teens They were in just teen teens. Town? They okay. were just like, I wonder if they weren't in that opening. Oh, yeah. The eight people passing sure, the thing sure, back sure, and sure, forth. Sure. But... Or they were at the poker table or something. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they were just uncredited. Wow. Yep. And... Um, uh, they when it came out in VHS, the suggested price was twenty four ninety nine per cassette, which is wow. a ton of money in 1990. Yeah. Thanks, um, Mom and Dad, and for buying that VHS for some me. Some of that oh, yeah. Pizza Looked Hut confusion bit. is uh-huh. totally understandable because Pizza Hut engaged in a $20 million marketing campaign tied into the film despite the fact that Domino's Pizza. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Eating Domino's lunch. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and pizza Wars. for lunch. Also, I found it very amusing that this was a Golden Harvest film. Explain. For anybody who's watched a lot of martial arts movies, a lot of them were probably Golden Harvest movies. Huh. They produced The Big Boss, famously, Bruce Lee's first movie, and Enter the Dragon, and 1,000 million other. Huh. Oh. So they were just like, like... They're like a Hong Kong martial arts movie house hmm. in like the 70s, were... 80s mostly, but I think but wide how, ranging. How was it connected to Ted Turner? <sighs> Great question. <laughs> so do you think His that... golden bison har- yeah. <laughs> harvest You harvest them, them and then you use the protein to get good at martial arts. Yeah. Hmm. So they... So somebody who was producing this Turtles movie was just like, okay, we're making a Kung Fu movie. Let's go to the guys with, who throw money at Kung Fu movies. I guess, huh. yeah. I don't... I still don't understand what every company does that gets sure. their company before the movie. Maybe and I they, guess I don't really care. Like maybe, distributor versus yeah. production versus The blah, more blah, blah, there blah, blah, blah. are, the less money the movie has. Right. Yeah. Maybe the Golden Harvest, they just had a bunch of connections with like people who knew martial arts because we need they needed people to just come throw kicks and stuff. Yeah. Could so be. they yeah. were just like, yeah, we'll produce this movie. Like, like hey, yo, people we'll send Quite you our guys. We alone. know a guy. We yeah. know like eight guys. You can have our C team. Yeah. And it made two hundred million dollars. Wow! Well, Talk about a golden harvest. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, the gold is money. The gold is money. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's <laughs> and life lessons. Yeah, but mostly yeah. money. Can we? Quickly talk about the theme, the song at the end credits. Yeah, yeah. Like we we, we alluded to it. I know. <laughs> There is a song at the end, Turtle Power, T-U-R-T-L-E Power, T-U-R-T-L-E Power. That's the chorus of the song. It sounds like Digital Underground. It is not. It is a group called Partners in Crime. Crime is spelled K-R-Y-M-E, which according to Wikipedia, 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 stands for (laughs) Keep Your Rhythm. Keep Rhythm. Keep Rhythm Your Motivating Element. Yes. (laughs) We were this so capture our imagination. We also then watched <laughs> their follow up single in 2015, yep. which was clearly filmed at like a con. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a low grade regional turtle con. Yeah. That was <laughs> s- similar. It was still a turtle yeah. rap, but its chorus was a play on Rock the Casbah. Shredder won't like it. Rock the Half Shell. <laughs> 2015, <laughs> this happened. Yeah. 20. If, anyway, check yeah. it out. Partners check it in out. Crime. Partners in Crime. K R Y M E. It's a great. It's a great song. Song. Both you can really dance to yeah, in your which kitchen, we did. Mm-hmm. which we did. Yeah, very T-U-R-T-L-E kitchen dance. T L E power. There's a cool robot voice. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah. Great. I mean, great. the the closing song is so spot on. Like it really describes the movie. Oh yeah. What what was the line? It was like <laughs> good versus evil equals confrontation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great movie wrap. Everybody thinks about Vanilla Ice's Go Ninja Go Ninja Go. Yeah. Classic. Which is, which is great. Yes. But no shade. Parts of crime. Rip Van Winkle, or what his real name is. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what is his real name? It's definitely Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> it's something Van Winkle. It is. It's Van Winkle. Mr. Van Winkle. We'll Mr. Van Winkle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. VW. But Partners in Crime, Turtle Crushed Power, it. slaps. It slaps. This yeah. whole soundtrack slaps. <laughs> There's yeah. incredible guitar in this in this film. Yeah. And the it, synthesizer. Yes. The music really tells me how to feel. It throughout really the whole does. movie. <laughs> like, is this a goofy action scene? Is this real as hell? Yeah. Like I am informed. Is by this the like score. intensity? Are they are they about to get hurt? Yeah. From yeah. Shredder. So this is like one of those movies where that nineties cadence of speech really comes through. Mm-hmm. Where you don't realize that every decade has its own little cadence, but it does. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Oh, another was, fun <laughs> fact. Cal if Bunker. you watch like any rom com from the last like five or six years that has an Asian American lead. The guy who plays Shredder in this movie is probably one of their relatives in that movie. Oh, wow. It's wild. Like, I looked, I saw him He's in something. Working. Yeah, I saw him in something. It's like, oh, that guy looks familiar. And then I was like, oh, he was in this rom com I saw last year. But then I kept scrolling. I'm like, holy shit, he was the guy under the metal 18 pound <laughs> metal helmet. Great. <laughs> great. He does good work. He does yeah. great work. What also is doing good work is our rating scale, of course, mm-hmm. which so is good. Grapes of Scrap. Right. <laughs> Which needs no explanation, but I'll do it anyway. Thank you. This is a, a food truck experience. Uh, it's Scrapple with a grape on top. Just one grape? That's I think I it's a half. I thought half there were grape. just grape chunks incorporated. I yeah. picture it as like a half grape with like a turtle that. head. Like a half what? half shell. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, Scrapple right. on okay. a half shell. I love that. Great okay. power. Half shell grape. Um, I believe balsamic vinegar was at least implied. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, a reduction. It's okay, a reduction. Yeah, Golden okay. Harvest. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's native to Philly, and also oh the okay. owner has a uh, comical French accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and we decided it was Bradley Cooper. It is Bradley yes. Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> it, also, it is Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Dan, you gave it four. Yeah. You were obsessed with it as a kid, yeah. but name for maybe it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it is ridiculous, but it was actually like, like as a concept, it's again, I was thinking of my own father as an adult man watching this with his children and just like, just accepting the life that he was leading. (laughs) But as weird and kooky as a premise as this movie is on paper, like it was actually less corny than I was expecting. Like the, the sincere parts of it were like, I don't know, less heavy handed than I thought it was going to be. Like I worried it was just going to be like, so like just hitting it so hard every single moment that it would just be comical, but it was mostly just like fine. I don't know. I still kind of liked it, even though it's for children and Casey Jones sucks (laughs) or scrap great grapes of scrap. Wow. Yeah. One for each turtle. One for each turtle. Beth, you thought it would be very fun, and you'd also give it four, one for each turtle. Yeah. I thought it was fun. Uh, it's not really a movie made for me, sure. a 35-year-old <laughs> woman in 2023. Um, but the Muppets were incredible, mm. and I enjoyed them very much. So I'm going to say three and a half mm. shell. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Um, so that just means one of the turtles only gets half. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Well, you're okay. you're you're not actually ranking. You know, the turtles aren't actually getting anything. You're just ordering scrapple from a truck, <laughs> so it's fine. Okay, all right. We just won't tell them. Okay, we won't tell them. You're turtles. eating all the grapes. You're scrapple. eating all the scrapple. I am. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was one for each turtle. No, oh, like I thought it was symbolic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because remember, at the, remember we said at the first half, like, you go up to the Scrapple truck, you'd be like, give me the Ninja Turtle. And oh, that's give you four. right. They already ate. They had pizza earlier. Yeah. Okay, that's and true. And also, at least one of them needs to cool it a little. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which one. They can sort it out. Oh, Beth Geese. You need a half order of your third, fourth Scrapple order. <laughs> it's a, check out Limitless on Netflix or HBO Max, wherever it might be streaming right now. 
Also, apologies in advance for the prosthetic nose I'm apparently wearing in my Leonard Bernstein movie that people are upset about. I don't know what happened to my accent. I am a professional actor, Bradley Cooper. Great. Uh, I am Dan. I am third. I gave it a five. I thought it would be wackadoo and a nostalgia trip. And it was. Yeah. It was... Better than I expected. Right? <laughs> I kind of thought it'd be like, ooh, I, re- I remember loving this movie, and also it's fun and goofy. And it was all the things, and also somehow was a better film than I expected. Sure. It's not amazing, but better than I expected. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with five. Yes. Wow. I fucking loved it. Hell yes. <laughs> was it that? Was it that? Uh, uh, campfire ghost scene that put it put it up to the top. Yeah, like that, and like like the turtles have an arc. They learn things about uh, family. Yeah, it's like a Fast and Furious movie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And then, yeah, the puppets look great right. still. Yeah. Puppets, yeah. man, <laughs> real effects. Stop using computers. Yeah, hey, throw your computer out the window. Get yeah. some rubber. Yeah, get rid of your CGs and go back to some. Our C is the C is now for costume. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. We got him. Yeah, whoever they are. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, you gave it a three. You had no nostalgia. That's true. Mm. I will uh, remind you. Uh, yes, this is an executive produced episode. I yes, know. and I know. you did neglect to add any points for yeah. that fact in the beginning of the movie. It's true. And I was about to say movie at the first half of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. respect. Delayed is respect denied. Whoa! Whoa. Wow! Splinter well, the rat. I haven't heard. I haven't heard any of you saying Ryan Letzer's name not even once on point. this podcast. To what do you mean? I just heard myself say Ryan Letzer. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I also said Ryan Letzer. What? You Beth, did... edit this in before Molly. <laughs> Here's twenty dollars. <laughs> Buy yourself a pizza. Oh, Ryan Letts. Ryan Letts. Here. Two. In my defense, when Dan first told me that this was the movie Ryan had chose, I believe I said, "Hell yes, this is going to be awesome." Okay, so this movie, I was really surprised and delighted by, for the most part. Definitely get getting deducted like one to two points for corrupting the minds mm. of generations of people who would later force me into a chair to give me a massage. <laughs> or are sitting kitty corner from you right now on the <laughs> podcast table. <There> you. <laughs> I could be referring to myself. Yeah, could I'm be. not. <laughs> so I don't didn't care for that, but the sincere moments were so wonderful. The flashbacks were oh, incredibly charming. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I love Splinter so much. Um, and I have to say, I usually really tune out during fight scenes. Uh, but this, there was always something to appreciate, even if it was just the fact that it was really happening, that somebody was in (laughs) that costume doing that thing is truly remarkable. Yeah. So like, I found myself annoyed by Raphael most of the time. Um, and I don't know what anyone else's name is except for Mikey. Mm -hmm. Yep. But... Uh, I really enjoyed the themes. I thought it was great, except for the bad themes. So typically I would have worked my way back to like a three, three and a half, but out of respect for our executive produced extra bonus episode, Uh extra sound ninja (laughs) episode (laughs) podcast by Ryan L. Uh (laughs) I hereby declare. Oh, wow. Five. Wow. wow. Welcome to the party, oh, Molly. Oh, my God. Cowabunga. Cowabunga, indeed. <laughs> um, Mademoiselle, I'm working so hard to get all five of your scrapbooks. Cowabunga special. <laughs> five. It is one for each other and the best scrapple, of course, for our beautiful rat father. I know, <laughs> yes. Now Sing I'm starting to, to turn game. into Nando. How do we do in the shadows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bradley Cooper. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> I can't do it. It's perfect. New York <laughs> City. 
Arizona. Wow. Check out a show that is in no way associated with us or this movie. Five. Wow. I'm I'm genuinely impressed. Good job, Ryan. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Genuinely, thanks. I am. I remember thinking we should watch this movie a couple years yep. ago, and you made it happen. I would have said no, absolutely yep. to it because of animal danger. Uh, no, I wouldn't have even thought of animal danger. I just be like, I don't. I've never seen that movie. I don't have any nostalgic feeling about it. Why does that it? stop you from watching every other movie? Did- yeah, what about the horse movie? Or you had seen it? What? No, I had seen the horse movie, but okay. I like horses. You don't like turtles. Wow. Turtles are like the horse wow. of the. Pond. <laughs> <laughs> Totes Recall is hosted by Molly Chase, Beth Gibbs, Dan Jaquette, and Dan Linden. Produced by Beth Gibbs. New episodes of Totes Recall drop on the 15th of every month. For more information and bonus content, visit us at totesrecall.com. Thank you so much for listening.